a fair got a yellow blue I ended up in a different place on the table now I don't know why we could certainly switch whatever to whatever one you want how do I do that oh let me get rid of red there we go oh, you're over, you're okay. over here right yep I forgot to save it with the proper number of them in place. There's red. How's that? Oh, that's good. Thanks. Oh, no worries. Uh, who am I missing? What color am I missing? What color should I have? Uh, I was orange. Orange is Down a good in the color. Down corner where this blue is. I like that color. Here we go. Orange is back. Thank you for your patience and consideration. Who am I missing? Robert. Yeah, we want to see French blue. What's up with that? What? I gave Robert French blue. I gave French is blue is right here. As soon as Robert takes it, we're oh, good. Okay, it was over here. Okay. okay, there he is. Yeah, it works. I was orange on that awesome. corner last time, but are we broadcasting? Yeah, we gotta have blue on the other side, at least one place. Mm -hmm. Good lord, man. Always difficult with Jim. Yes. <laughs> what am I doing? He knows I. <laughs> I kid with him. There we go. Now I got. People. Yes, yes, we're back. Now, the white circle is indeed chasing. Yes, okay, better now. Hey, Mike. Awesome. Back to it. Um, we did our thing. We're all back in place. Excellent. We were talking about the guard, which is skulking mm -hmm. back here with the man. Look, I they do have they do have the nice guard, although it's a later guard, of course. But they look very nice. Look at them. They're very pretty. And of course, we got some big nasty guard cavalry right there. Look at that. Very scary. So the question was, and it was asked of us just before the world went pear-shaped on me, um, how is it that we figure out who goes where? And I said, that's an exceptional question, and I want to answer it. We all know what's going on in the battle, but we should look at some notes. First, if you all want to take a look at the map while I read these things to you, Telnitz, Sokolnitz, Kobolnitz, Pratza, Uyets, Puntovitz, Hostjardik, Blazovitz, Jerskovitz, Holubitz, and Schlapnitz. These are all villages which can hold one base, one brigade. The only exception is Schlapnitz, which can have two and can be garrisoned. All other built up areas are noticed for. Uh, they are, they are noted for reference only. Streams are all crossable, but as we say, they are difficult movement. The frozen ponds cannot be crossed by artillery. It's interesting how much of this is gone. This was all drained, and if you visit Austerlitz now, if you get to Uyet, there's a bus stop at Uyet marked, and I was shocked how close this um, whole frozen pond complex was to the battlefield. But yeah, all this stuff and all this stuff, you can cross it with infantry and cavalry, but not guns. Don't try. It doesn't work. The pheasantry. The pheasantry is a walled hunting forest. Still there. One base within size. If you prepare in there you get the entrenchment bonus, which means you have no flanks. So you can entrench in that spot. We're also going to We're have some... What's this? I was going to ask, so the frozen areas, but they're still considered difficult terrain, correct? Correct. Okay. Correct, because in order to get to them, you're going to have to cross these streams. That's why, that I'm guessing, that, I'm guessing, that's why Ross set them up that way. Okay. All right, just want to make sure. Okay. Although I would say not here. Okay. Do we lose somebody? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, looks like everybody's here. And uh, Griff, you have not rejoined Team. I, th I think you, yeah, you have not rejoined Team Diamonds, which I would come. Oh my bad. Okay. Everybody's setups over here are pretty much where they should be. 
You can do little tweaks if you like, like maybe move them around. But if you saw the original maps that Ross provides, he provides lines. I parked them right on those lines. So this is pretty much where you should be with your units. The notable exception, of course, for the French is the big dog himself, the third corps with Davu attached. Where are they? Why they are hanging out. <laughs> This, by the way, I'm very proud of it. This was my view from the Zuron Heights when I got my wife and child, Velker, up very, very early in the morning so I could watch the sun rise over the Pratzen Heights. <laughs> That's why it was so early? That, yeah. <laughs> That's why it was so early? Yes, that is why. I wanted to see a son of Austerlitz. Nice. And then over here, if you haven't seen it, this is the coolest cement factory on the planet zappa concrete which is right at the north end of the battlefield they turn their concrete that's that's showing up for me if uh, just go mouse oh if you're not seeing it it's a uh it is a <sighs> giant they turned their concrete plant into a gun with three attendant artillerists that nice. must be that must be 25 to 30 feet tall i saw them as i was approaching <laughs> the battlefield so anyway the reason i bring that up is that the only guy we don't have is Davu, right here, including the marshal himself, the Iron, Iron Marshal. He begins to arrive possibly on turn four. Each brigade has to roll separately each turn. One to three, they come. Four to six, you try again. Okay? Ooh. Yeah. So he may not show up quite when you want him to. Up to two additional divisions from different corps can be attached to Davu and put under his command once he arrives, if you wish. All French units can use the rally rule. What's the rally rule? The rally rule says that if you can get your unit that has taken a punishment and go back six inches from the nearest opponent, it has to be six inches away, if you can get that far back, you may roll, instead of activating it, you may roll a 1d6 and try to rally it. If you roll a 3, if you roll a 3, 4, 5, or 6, you get one Elan back. You can never get your full Elan back. You all, if you lose just one, you lose that for good. That's why Velker calls it the permanent loss. Each of the following areas count as one broken unit when calculating the allied morale. Pratza, Uyetzt, Hostiardek, Hostiardek, Blazovitz, and Holubitz. So those count as a dead unit. Remember, you lose your morale when you lose units. Each of the following areas mm. count as a broken unit for the French, Kobolnitz, and the Pheasantry. Each of these count as two for the French. Telnitz, Sokolnitz, Puntovitz, Jerskovitz, and Schlapnitz. So that's some pretty serious stuff. Ouch. How do you win? You win, the Allies, if you hold Kobolnitz, Sokolnitz, Telnitz, and the Pheasantry at the same time. The French... Win by holding Holovitz, Pracha, Blazovitz at the same time. It's actually a pretty tall order. Due to the fog, the maximum visibility in the area is covered by the first two gradients on the map. Where are those? Down here. See this? Down here in this valley like area. Oh, over here, okay. Yeah, and all the way down here, too. So one would be down here, and this is two up here. All right? So if you're down way into that area, visibility is only two bases up to turn three. It goes up to four by turn six. One of the things that confused the dickens out of me when I first played Blucher is that turns, <coughs> each side's play constitutes a turn. So, 
Oh, Tur- right. Turn one is just the French or the Allies playing. Turn two is the other side playing. So if you're looking for whole sides played, it's actually only a 14 turn game. Oh, and I suppose I should mention, if it isn't obvious, the Allies go first. They, however, due to their coordination, they're only going to get four of those momentum dice we talked about. The French get five. So it's not a huge difference, but it's a good-sized one. So let's talk about commands. And I'll ask you guys to talk amongst yourselves and figure who you want to have what. Because you've got commanders. The big one is your CNC. Now, Napoleon... He's got a big one. Command, that is. And his is excellent staff work. If as the first activation on a turn, he can activate one whole core for just two mo points. The way CNCs work in this game is very abstract. He's going to start out here off the board. And at some point, whoever's playing him is going to say, I think this turn, I want to benefit these guys here. And he can go and say that this core will now be commanded for one point, two points, sorry. Or he can say, you know what? This core down here, they need it. And what happens is he just gets slapped over there. Doesn't rec- that does not represent him moving over there. It does represent him focusing his attention there. You'll notice that our guy Alexander, he's over here. He doesn't have a special ability. He's immobile. Immobile is, as you might well suspect, is, is, is not a flattering thing for, uh, for our dude. We will go to our... Re- and what I wanted to... This, is, this was my excuse to go pull up my reference sheets. But what he does, as just a regular commander guy, is he is allowed, at the end of every turn... To slap himself down in the middle of a core, wherever that core is, and command everybody in his radius. But that's the last activation of the turn. Now, I will tell you that on a multiplayer game, it's unlikely that we need that particular ability. But it is there should you need it. I will go over it if you think you do. So let's talk about dividing up. Oh, shoot. I didn't talk about arrivals for the other side. That was very inconsiderate of me. We've already talked about winning and losing and how much points are worth what on what side. (laughs) Talked about the Mo Dice, five and four. Let me set those real quick. I think I did. No, I didn't. Yep, I did. Or did you do that, Donner? Oh, I said it. I figured you might have. Okay. Did you, and I got to turn printing off, too. All right. People showing up. The advanced guard with Bagration arrives at 9.20. What does that mean? Well, the game starts at 8 o'clock, turn 1. Turns are 20 minutes. So, just doing the relatively simple math, the start of turn 5. The Imperial Guard begins to arrive on the map edge at start. Now, there are rules in Blucher for how reinforcements are brought on. But Ross, when he designs his scenarios, doesn't follow the optional um, doesn't follow the optional rules for or the, the rules for a possible non-arrival. What you do is you bring your fellows onto the board just like you would move them usually, giving them an order. 
actually you don't want to use Bagration, you want to use this guy's right here, which is to say this is Alexander's guys. I want to make sure I put them in exactly the right spot. Yeah, they actually come on in this area right here. I just couldn't fit it. So they come on in this area here. And so you're just going to place them on the map and move them on in. All right. So, commands. The way I see it, and I'm certainly willing to listen if people have any objections or concerns, is that these fellows here, 5th Corps, and this Cavalry Reserve, and these guns, this basically, this whole thing right here, that's a command. The second command is Napoleon. And everybody on this side of the Goldbach. So those guys. And then the third command is the French is broken up into all this plus Davu. All right. The allies. I just bought that video. The allies are these fellas all the way here. I was trying to do them in 12 to 13 groups of 12 to 13. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 is this whole column. That's one. This group here is two, including that one. And these reinforcements are three. Does that make sense? What I'm talking about. Roger, yeah, Roger. Yeah. <clears throat> so I don't know if you guys want to chat briefly amongst yourselves what you want to take and what you want to be responsible for because everything else I'll explain in the doing. Uh, Jim, can I ask you to just ping the allied objectives one last time? I just want to make sure I have the right thing in my mind. Sure. Scroll, scroll, scroll. The Allies win by holding Kobolnitz, Sokolnitz, Telnitz, and the Pheasantry. So, Sokolnitz. Okay. Telnitz. Kobolnitz. The Pheasantry. Okay, cool. Basically, this was their point, their broader objective, for those who don't know. I suspect everybody on this game does. But just in case somebody's watching that doesn't know. Um, their objective was to pile drive this way, crush Napoleon's right flank, and cut him off from Vienna, which is exactly two hours down here. Well, by car. So how do you all want to divide up your winnings? Or your uh, your side? I don't know if they're winnings yet. Oh, uh... Lewis? I don't know if you know, but on the bottom, there's a bubble chat. Hit that bubble and go under the under team team tab, oh, yeah, and we're yeah. we're we're chatting in there about how we're going to want to divide up and want, want your input. Oh dear, they're already sharing nefarious thoughts. Hey, I never do things nefariously. Usually. Usually. All right, Jen, the French are ready. <laughs> we're basically, basically how we're situated is how we're taking it. All right. Gims, I got the left. He's got the right, and I got Napoleon. Okay, you're pretty much on our team. We just have to pick left, right, or center. Um, yep. I tried to keep it that way. Yeah. Sorry, we're just. Um, you guys don't have any preference then on our side. We were talking about the Allied side. 
Just uh, yeah, don't. Uh... Yeah, um, you can take center then. Um, I guess just we'll just divvy it up how it stands then. I'll take left wing. Um, Jed can take okay. right, and then okay. Does that work? All right. I think getting stuck in is the best possible answer because Blucher is not an overly complicated game. All right. However, Haz, you are going to have to explain to me. I'm going to have to insist. If Napoleon doesn't go on the field and they still get that bonus, what's the point of it? What's the point of Napoleon? You're saying he gets the extra command as well? By the way, for those who don't know, we have our resident um, Blucher expert, it's not me, it's Hasrable, yeah. online helping us, which is the best possible thing. So that this will be extra awesome, I am sure. Yeah, he, he answers many of our questions. That's what Any commander or sub-commander does not have to be on the field. The, well, that's true, but I well, and but this is the 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 philosophy of it. What does it matter that you know? Is it just a matter? Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, that's my question. That's so it yeah, doesn't. doesn't matter. All right, all right. I guess I couldn't wrap my. I've never been able to wrap my. I've never been able. Well, I thought the sub commanders, if it's giving you a bonus for combat, had to be attached. Yeah, so that's true. Right. But we're talking is, unless they have to be attached. Yeah, we're talking about these abstract things like what Napoleon has. Okay. Right. So it's just a matter of Napoleon pointing at those guys and saying, I'm with them. All right. That's fine. It doesn't bother me. I'm just curious. All right. So what we have to do, and I'll do it first this turn, but then I'm going to have the uh, the French do it later. Printing is... Did you turn printing off? Ron? Did not. No. Right, not. There we go. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you these points first. I'm going to look at them so that the folks can watch, but I know that you, uh, the good French, will handle it later. There's the number. We all know what it is. So since, well, it's convenient enough, Zeke, since you've got the left flank, and we could sort of give examples as to how this works, why don't we walk uh, your teammates through how this goes? Okay. Um, we good. have mode dice already? You do. You got them. Okay. And I'm watching them. Let's <laughs> see these guys. Okay, so I guess I'll start by, I'll activate... Um left wing the set of brigades in the artillery battery here okay these four guys so Got four it. units mm -hmm. and um let's see i'll start i'll just start with the front unit mm -hmm. so I'll rotate him mm -hmm. and then come out six inches mm -hmm. so again that's what we were describing is a simple move and second brigade similar All right, Zeke, already coming in for the attack line, huh? <laughs> um, and then um, artillery. Artillery is also six inches, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Just horse artillery um, is three and two. Ooh, guns are going somewhere, Sorry. I guess. Mm. Okay, uh, and that's it for my set of movements. All right, so just to explain then, what he's done is he's activated this portion of a core. He was too far away from this one, too far away from this one to be able to include it in a three-inch core activation. He therefore moved this core, which means he has spent one, two, three, four points in a core activation. That takes us over here... Well, it doesn't have to be this way. I'm just doing it for convenience sake. This takes us over to Patrick here in the center. Who would you like to activate? I'm sorry. Can you show me? So do I have like the the Hussar Brigade, Lissenvetsch, and... Uh... You've got all six of these guys that I just highlighted. And you've got uh -huh. all the these horse fellows. Okay, so I guess I, uh, the first con, the first con, starting with the, the Ulan Brigade, Mueller, it's a, mm -hmm. I can't pronounce it, Zekomensky. <laughs> Most can't. Zek okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to say, you're going to speak to the core, right? So presumably you're looking to activate our, and if that's not the case, please let me know. 
but you're looking to activate yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six fellows. Okay. Is that too many or is that nope, okay? That's I don't perfectly wanna... fine. Okay. And how oh I'm sorry, how tab. Yep. Perfect. And how far I'm sorry, it says it only says points uh it's because you're not uh clicking and dragging. What you're gonna wanna do is put him back where he was. F one. Uh you don't, yeah yeah, give yourself an F one, right? It's not moving back, I'm sorry. Uh all I gotta do is just there you go. The nice thing is, you, it's real hard to break this stuff, so I don't worry about it like I did when I had twenty-eight millimeter toy soldiers. All right. All right. So what you do? Sure. Okay. It starts so here. Hit right. the tab. And you grab it. Okay. So hit pivot the... it. And then okay. Hold... I got the ruler. How do I get the the hand F... go up? F one. What you want to do is F one. Okay. And then what you do is grab you, click, him. You, you left click and hold. Right. And then and only then hit tab and hold it. Uh -oh. There you go. Okay. And they may move and twelve how... inches. Uh I don't know what I'm doing with stone list. You're doing fine. Uh, uh, I'll be aggressive and if everybody wants to kill me, go for it. <laughs> That's good. Perfect. And then, uh, um, oh, oh, I want to kind of. Good enough. That'll work. Uh, the problem is you can't turn them, so you got to leave them the way they were facing. Okay, so so that's fine. Uh, okay. You know, you started them out that way, and they shot straight this way, so that's good. All right. What's that little bump in front of those units right there? Is that actually another level? Yes. It's just a bit of topography. Ah. Uh, I think I went too far. I can't. The nice thing is we got an easy frame of reference. I know what you were trying to do. It's about there. Yes. Thank you. No worries. Yeah, if you're not used to tabletop simulator, it can be a little F fiddly. Fiddly, yes. I've got uh, I've got fourteen hundred hours on this system, so yeah, <laughs> that really isn't bragging. <laughs> Good enough. That's fine. Uh, the way Ross has explained that he designs these maps to your little bump question, he actually uses a set of really lovely set of period maps and just draws on top of them. So he does mm. try to repeat it. Oh, shit. That was, I'm sorry, that was horse artillery. Can they move? Uh, no, they're, they're a to they are at a regular move. They are at a total of six. Okay, so let me... Oh man, I could not for I. Yeah. Okay, I guess that's that's it. Right. So I'll do this. Cool. Yes. All right, where am I going? There we are. So you've moved them there. You've moved them there. Excellent. So there were four moved here. Very very aggressively, may I note. 
and you move six. So six, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We are still not checking to see if all the points are spent. We're coming over here to give Jed a chance to go. Who do you want to activate? Uh, well, which of these units, uh, which of these groups is coming in now? The, the it's the czar. The... It's the czar. Yeah, yeah. Okay. These start turn five. So, okay, so and they have to come in uh, between the frozen pond and the edge of the hill here. Well, they can go a little further than that. I would the the way the way it's marked, I'd let them go pretty much all the way to here. Okay, so let's see what I've got. I've got three infantry brigades, light cavalry. Heavy cavalry and artillery. Uh. Russian guns are nasty, but I think you all know that. Russian guns are perfect. Okay, so yeah, unfortunately, they just come right up to the edge and and there. Just so well, they. The notion is the conceit is they emerge with their front edge on this edge, and then they march on. Okay, so then do, do they get to move then, or do they just oh, yes. stay right there? Oh yes, they move. They move. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, and I'm sorry, how do you do the move? No problem. What you do is you left click and hold as you've been doing. Yeah. And then press and hold the tab key. And now slide okay. it. There we go. Uh, 12 inches for these and boys. To, and to do that, you need to face that way. So turn yourself to the right using the E key. There you go. Now you probably to move at that angle, you don't need this. Because in blue card, that. if you take your full move, once you start it, you've got to go straight that way. Okay. You don't want to cross that pond. Okay. Uh, all right. There you go. And what you're going to want to do, by the way, I don't think you uh, went and lowered your lift height. That's why your guys are floating above the table that way. What's my lift height? If you take a look on your menu, it's the guy lifting weights at the upper right next to the 15 oh, yeah. degrees. Yeah. Drop that all the way to I the see. bottom. It's a slide. Okay. Is that better? Well, I just, I'll see when you move it. <laughs> okay. That's who you're bringing on next. Let's get the horse artillery here up they here. Come. Uh, That's fine. Oh, I moved I, I'll move measure it. it. Don't worry about it. All right. Yeah, uh, since you went straight, that's a... Situate straight, that's a nine. That's fine. Yeah, they've got to come back just a couple inches. Okay. Them fellers. Oh, I did the same thing here. Why is that happening? I don't know. Uh, it's because the measurement is stuck. Uh, what you want to do is if you look at your menu on the left. Yeah. It says, where is that piece? I, I've tried to block it out of my head block so it I out of my head so I don't don't yeah I forget which one it is shoot that's it uh it's under line it's the fourth item down and yeah. you'll see the third circle in you want it to be free you can left click it till it says free okay. you don't want it to be auto now it's free okay That's another way you can do uh, it. These guys only go six, though, right? Correct. Uh, so I moved, I moved this guy too far. Yep. We were sorting stuff out. He needs to come back a little. Okay. I'll get him. Bring on your next guy. Hey, Jim, just yeah? so you know, has correct you on something. He What's says horse until he moves three inches or nine inches. Right. This guy moved nine, didn't he? I thought you said six. What's the, what's the split run? 
Nine and what? Three nine. and nine. Three. It is three. So they're they're three one. Interesting. Okay. Thank you. Oh, okay. Thank you. This is why we have the has. And that was for horse guns, right, Ron? Correct. Thank you. I can't get this guy to move. You're welcome, good sir. This fellow here? Yeah. Let me try it once more. Let's see. There he goes. There he goes. Okay. All right. And I got the artillery. How far do they go? Those are regular foot guns, which are also 3-1. So those are... Why don't I have my foot guns in my head? What the heck? I'm so embarrassed. Actually, I think I want to put these guys over. They're two ones, so they go either six inches or three inches. All right, I'll go right up there behind. Me. Perfect. Okay, a little jammed up there, but it'll clear out. It's On true. the czar. <laughs> the czar kind of goes. He actually stays off unless you need to order him. And as you can see, oh, okay. You know, he he kind of just hangs out. That was what I was talking to the folks online about. Okay. Um, so we've had ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 men activate on a core activation. Since all three core commanders have been able to move, we now go over to the French and say, hey, French, can they still move? I'm sorry, how many was it? 17. 17. No. They're done? They're done. What was the number? Six, uh, 16. All right. So because 16 points were expended, you're all done in terms of moving. So obviously you haven't been able to move everything you might have liked to, but you still got a whole lot done. The next thing that happens is shooting. Again, this is for everybody within six inches that hasn't moved. Obviously, everybody here that might be relevant has moved. You do not have to be activated to move. Passive units still get to shoot. That also applies for guns. I should also note uh, an omission on my part on teaching the rules. If you mouse over any gun, I'm on these horse artillery right here, you'll notice that they have a series of numbers. 655433. Three. As time goes on, they will deplete their ammunition. Every shot costs them one of those numbers, and they become less effective as they fire. Mm. While I am on this particular horse battery, I will observe that the um, they are mobile. They are one of the very few units in the game that can both move and shoot. All right. So since there is no fire that I can see, I don't know if anybody wants to correct me. I don't see any. And as there is no melee, because nobody is in contact, we come over here to the turn sequence. Do, 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 do. We would check for reinforcements. That's not what happens here. There is checking for army morale. We're fine. And now the last thing is, now the allies have to roll mo dice over here for the French. So if I can ask one of the allied players just to click that number five right there. Don't everybody rush at once. Number five where? Right here. Not see. Oh, right there. Oh, somebody did it. Okay. So that's the number of mo dice that are now in the possession of the French. I remind the French that Napoleon has his excellent staff work advantage, meaning he should probably be the first command given. We spoke of this yes, in the Vagram game in... as who gets Napoleon's thing. <laughs> oh no. Oh, let's see. Um.
where it's going to be most used. Let's see, less points. You know what? Let's go with first here. I don't know if you see me, Jim. I'm right near your hand. Over here. Putting light. I'm just being spoken of. I do have Austerlitz up. Oh, this particular battle? Yeah, no, this particular Ross, battle Ross, you don't have Ross, up. Yeah, Ross has never put this online. All right, I just put Napoleon where we're marking where he's going. Right here, Jim. Where's he going? All right, well, might, Center. As well, might, as well, might as well activate, crazy person. Yeah. Who's activating? Uh, that's actually mine, the center part. All right, okay. Well, it's still got to be a core it's activation. Still be a core activation. It, it, yeah, this whole core the right core. here. Core. Core. Yeah, this whole core. I don't think that's the core, right? That's just a division? No, this is one core. No, this is one core. Oh, it's considered oh, one core. Cons yeah, that's one yeah, core. One core. That's this one is four core. core. This is the reserve. Yeah, and that would be less than one. So four points will at least turn into two points. Yep. Hit it. Do your thing. Scary troops. It's a nice little mazurka you're doing over here. I'd call it a waltz, but that denigrates waltzes. All right, that's that core. All right, that's four points. Uh, that. Well, uh, that was the center. It's Daniel, two. you want to... That's two actually two, two points. Thank you. And I did forget something else, although I can see Ron handled it. Ron advanced the turn. This is technically... Well, not technically. It is. This is now turn two. So I'm advancing that over there. I got there your back. Me. Thank you, man. Uh, so, Daniel, want to activate something? Yeah, I want to activate... Uh... All the fifth core and my cavalry as well. Okay. Well, you're gonna have to choose because you've got the five core, and you've got the cavalry reserve, which is a separate core. Is this light cavalry and the heavy cavalry together, or separate? Uh, they are, but they're not close enough to activate together. Okay, gotcha. All right, so I'm gonna activate so I'm gonna this act uh, first division of the fifth core. Got it. Three, uh, three that does not include that gun. So it's these three boys right there. Hit it. The man is not subtle. <laughs> nice. Okay. That's three. How do you do that? How do you move all three at once? You click and drag a loop around them so they highlight like that. Okay. And then you can manipulate them as a single entity. All right, all right. That's two plus three, five. I come over here to the right and I say to Robert, who would you like to activate? Well. <clears throat> Remember, Robert, you got these you... three over here too. Are they? That's you. Okay. Yeah, I will activate them then. All right. Okay. 
You can only go three, unfortunately, three, because unfortunately. you're hitting that stream. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. Okay. Trooping through the region. That's eight. So we now ask over to the allies. May, that was eight Mo points. May they continue? Yep. All right. We come back to you, Ron. All right, activating these, this core here, fourth core, second. All right, so uh, where are the boys you're going to... So uh, what, the uh, what, second the division four core? Second division four core? Yep. Got it. Do that, you're gonna fire my every OCD nerve I've got. Yeah, I hate the degree of turning on this thing. <laughs> All right, they're good. They're good. So that's 11. Yep. So that's 11. That's Over 11. to you, Daniel. Are these cavalry, the light cavalry here, considered on the road or in the they're river? Or roads. Road, or... Roads are of no consequence in Blue Crow unless you're doing that reserve move thing. Okay, so they're limited to the uh, difficult move? The six inches, yep. Right. I'm actually going to get this second division moving here right. for the infantry. You're talking third division five core? Yeah. Fire away. Do I have to stop at this town? You don't have to stop, but you could, it's going to cost you to the, it's going to limit you to the three inches. Right, three inches. tell you that Bozenitz is a weird town. Okay, I'm done. 14. We come over here. Robert, you got anything? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. like give me a... The... Oh, let's, let's... Well, I've got to give you a hint, Jeff, like couple of guys here. I don't know if you want to do it or not, but you might want to put one of these guys in paired state since they're coming in at you here. That's part of their objective, so. Yeah. You know, if paired yeah. state gives you a bonus, if they charge in and <clears throat> make a town and stuff, oh my god, it's insane. And it's the same thing over here in the pheasantry. They right. can prepare as I, well. I've lost many units trying to take a town as <laughs> Jim. <laughs> yes, yes, you did. <laughs> yeah, so I will prepare here in the second brigade. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to pull them back a little bit so we know that they're in that town. 
and they get one of these markers. Da -da. Now, because this happened after core activations, and this is okay because you really don't have any other opportunity until Davu gets here to make a core activation. But because that happened, this was an individual activation, which means you can't go back to core activations. But individual activations also cost two. So instead of the 15 that I would be asking the allies about, I am compelled to ask about 16. How about 16 allies? Can the French keep going? Yep. Yeah, they're good. They're good. Ron, what do you got? Oh, wow. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Um, Merry Christmas. Reserve Grenadiers. So you know, Jim, I'm pointing down on them. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hasdrubal's going to get Tabletop Simulator. Dude, I will buy it for you. If you want to play, buy I'm it buying for it for you. That's not even a question. Send me a text. Get, get, okay. Good Lord, man. I've got I extra copies. Um, so, okay, so you're going to... These reserve? This reserve? reserve? This reserve? Correct. Fire away. Still a core activation. Marching through the mist up to the Pratsen. I almost put the uh, tabletop simulator mist effect on the table. Oh, that would have been great. That would have been good. I forgot there was mist. <laughs> I just didn't know how everybody's CPU would be able to handle it. <laughs> Daniel, what time is it by you right now? Who are you asking? Quarter to, quarter to nine. Quarter to nine. Okay, so we're not that bad. Okay. Well, I'm in the state. I'm, I'm in the state. Daniel. Jim. Oh, I didn't know that. I, okay, I had this. Okay, cool. All right, so that's I had. Oh, that you're on the East Coast, Coast, like I am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, we kicked over. That's why I'm confused about the time, Jim. Yeah. Usually we put a time down. It's usually Central. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> 16, 17, 18. We go over here to Daniel. You get 18. What do you got? We're still doing core or individual? You are still doing core unless you want to switch. I'm going to move this light cavalry up. All right. Asbel has it, Jim. So what's he talking about buying? He's talking to somebody else about buying it. Yeah, really or buying something. Oh. Yeah, the problem hey, Jim, is um, the... I'm not sure. Oh, sorry, I'm not sure how it happened, but the uh, positional battery that I moved that was part of um, this line here, it ended up back here. I'm not sure how that happened, but it should be somewhere if I was probably here and mm -hmm. moved six. It should be somewhere yes, about there. That is correct. Oh, correct. You might have unclicked it and like clicked the I'm table. I'm not going to be able to make that move. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say that, that. Unfortunately, because that artillery is where it is, yeah. So I'm going to go to individual and move the artillery up. Very good. All right. All right, so that's two more, so... That was, we had 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 to you, Robert. Anything? Yeah, we'll, we'll prepare the unit in the pheasant park. All right. Well, that's 22. How about now, allies? Can the French keep going? Um, uh, they're right at 22. That's it then. All right, that's all she wrote. Remembering the limited sight lines. Anybody think they've got a shot anywhere? Negative. Cannons, muskets, anybody? 
What's the artillery range? 18 inches. But remember, uh, visibility is limited because oh, of visibility. the fog. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. So. And I know we don't have any melees. All right. We're going to advance the turn marker. It is now turn three. French, please give the Aust please give the allies some mo dice. You've this seen is Jed. Number. Where does my other uh, uh, our group come in on? The right on that one? road. Oh, okay, good. Right on that road, which I do believe this is the. Uh, Yeah, it's funny. It's not like I didn't see it 30 seconds ago. Seconds ago. Turn five, I thought you said. Turn five, yeah. So it is. Yeah, next turn, turn five. Yeah. Yeah, next. Th not um, this. Not right now. But next that's, a, that's a core, right? That's a whole core right there. Correct. One core. Mm hmm. One core. Yeah. If you're talking about these dudes here, right wing. Yeah, yeah, this is all inches. the right. This is the right wing avant garde. And yes, mm -hmm. this is Bagration's boys. So. Hey, Jim. Yes. Artillery range is 24 inches. It's 20. Yeah. I love it when base I I really mean that because I hate it when I do wrong things. Oh, yep. Out to uh, eight why? base widths. Eight base widths. Yeah. Right uh, why there. would you tell? I must yeah. have missed that. Written down. Doesn't matter because you still matter. can't you see, but thank you so see. much for that. You're getting close, but again, you've got... And uh, Daniel, looks like you've got the uh, your your ruler set to uh, automatic as opposed to free. You're not going to want that. All right. So as the uh, allies now have their uh, turns, where do you want to start? You've got some modis. How do I change that? You go onto your Double menu. Onto your menu. It's the fourth item down on the left called line. It's the third circle from the left called ruler mode, and it should be free. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We are here to make Tabletop Simulator as friendly as circumstances allow. Um, Zeke, you I guess I'll first? start on the left. Sure. Yeah. Um, I'll yep. move um, the second section of the column here. Left wing, second division. So I'll just go from front to back. Oh, and I might have to actually extend them a little further in order to get over them. That's three. Three. Who wants to go next? Center. Sure. Patrick, what you like? Yeah, I want to move. Uh... Von Stando, mm -hmm. Rotterbund, mm -hmm. and Von Jerzyk. All right. So this is, and just so you know, you can order all these guys as part of the same core. Oh, okay. But would it, that cost me six points? It would. It would. So it's uh, up to you. But I'm just, just to give you a sense of how the rules work, uh, because these are all okay. part of the same core, you can activate them. Uh, okay. It, would, would people mind if I did that? I don't want to. No, go ahead. Right. How many dice are rolled for the uh, Mo? Four. Austrians get four. Allies, I should say. All right. I Give say this only second. because these are actually Austrians. So. At least over here. And, 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 and the infantry moves. The French have five. Infantry is six. Infantry, infantry is six does, inches. If it does a simple move, it is six. Correct. Okay. 
And you got to face them that way. Okay. So you got to turn them. I can't see that. Turn them and move them. Okay. Beautiful. Just like that. Okay. How much is a positional battery? Is that six inches too? Uh, yeah, your foot guns, they go uh, six and three if they move. Yeah, six and three. So six if you do a simple. In a complex move, you can, you can change your facing at the beginning, move three inches, and then change facing again? No, you have to change it at one or the other. But the reality is, and this is the part that blew my head apart, it, do, it because you can change your facing at the end, go any direction you want and face whichever way you want at the end. It doesn't matter. You're just going to fix facing at the end if you move that three inches. Okay, but don't you have to move straight ahead from the, the way you're facing at the you beginning do, of the You do, but you can wind up with with not not with a complex move no not with a complex oh. move you oh with a complex with move you move in any direction you want and yep. then change your facing at the end of the turn correct okay 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 so that's basically like changing your facing at the beginning moving in a straight line and changing again it is so it, it nets basically. to that yeah. you're right got it got it got it okay Another question about Shit. Mo while, while he's moving. Mm -hmm. If we're like now, if we're close to, let, let's say that we don't know it yet, but let's say we just have two points of Mo left. Mm -hmm. um, but I could, I could activate this whole core. Yep. Move all six of these units. Yep. And, and, and basically that works out. Okay. I'm not limited to just the two that we have left. Cor correct. You, everybody gets a chance to go. Okay, so, yeah. So there is a real... See, it's a trick because there's a real advantage to having the last guy take the big swipe. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, right, because you get extra moves that you wouldn't yeah, otherwise. Conceptually. Yeah. Okay, that's it for me. Awesome. Six plus three, that's nine. I come over to you, Jet. Okay, so I'm going to make a... Uh, complex move with these guys. Oops, wait. Uh, I can't. Wait a minute. My hand. My hand disappeared. There we go. Hey, it's like I've seen this movie before. All moves need to be straight. They I'm do. doing a complex move. They do, but a complex move can be straight with any facing. Oops. These guys. Oh, this is horse art. Oh, wait. Right. They, 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 sorry, I was only moving these uh, three, but actually that's cavalry. They can move. Uh, Six. Six, six on a complex six. move. Yep, you've got three so, more inches on each of those. If you okay, wish it. let me let me correct that. Yeah, I would like to do that. Oh, come on. Push the right tab. Oh. Now the guy isn't moving. Hold on. I'll give you. You know. 
you want, I'll give you three inches. Just do this. Yeah, do it. Thanks. You like this facing that good? Yeah, yeah. All right, and then this guy gets to go his six, and he rotates. Horse guns are three, right, Ron? Yes. Oh, horse gun? Yeah, horse guns are three. They only go three, okay. Right. On that's a complex. Back, like, that's like here somewhere. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly where they started it's from now. Can I do. retrieve that? That's fine. Okay. All right. Uh, and then now, can I move these guys as a group now? Once I started moving some of the core individually, can I move Absolutely. the remaining? Well, uh, you haven't moved the gates. You you have activated one, two, three, four of the guard core. They were all at the start of the turn within three inches of one another, and so okay. it still counts as a core activation. But now I can move these guys as a yep as a group as, as i say just because you made a complex move doesn't mean you made an individual move that's different okay so sorry how do i highlight these guys to get them all to, to all you got to do uh, is left click and drag and draw a box around them okay let me uh oh. <coughs> i was controlling that so let me get out of the way there so un left click on the ground. There you go. Now give yourself that box. Okay. Ah, there we go. Then, oops. Wait. Okay. Just, just to, I'm not, I don't want to be a stickler here, but all moves must be straight. A complex move, you can pivot first, then move, or move first, then pivot. But the move has to be straight. And that is straight. So these... No, I think I think what Jim's getting at is the mechanics of it when you play it in tabletop simulator are the same regardless of whether you turn first and go through all the motions of it or just right. end up there mm -hmm. and turn the direction you want. Yeah, because basically he's going straight and then turning his guys exactly to end up that way. I'm just not going straight forward. That's the confusing part. Right. But I'm but I'm going but, straight. But, okay. But the rules say you have to move straight forward, not move to the flank or. Just because you're moving in a straight line to the flank or to the that's, left or that's right? That's not that's accurate. Just... That's because you can retrograde move using a complex move. All right. So I'm done there then. Yeah. So we can say we had, shoot, I suddenly lost my count. I gotta get it back. Six, plus these boys here, which were one, two, three, four, that's 12, plus a scant three, 15 dear allied, or uh, yeah, dear French friends. How about 15? Can the allies go again? Yes. Starting again. Zeke, what do you got? Okay. Um, I'll do these rear three units, uh, third division. To hangar flying's point online, I agree they're not that complicated, except the fact that I couldn't get my head around them for about six months. I blame myself. Yeah, my bad. My bad, Jim. I I just read it again and I I made a mistake. Yep. No, no. I yeah. I was look, gonna tell you. Look at the example on page thirty-eight on the bottom. That yeah, the, I'm, that's what I'm looking it. at. That's what I'm looking at now. Okay, that's it for my three. Yeah, it's, it's, it's strange because, as people say, it's blindingly simple, and yet somehow I screwed it up. I completely blame myself. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a little, it took us there's a, a little it ambiguity took us a few there. Games. There's a little ambiguity there because it says you have to move straight, and my thinking is in every game, moving straight means straight forward. Right? That's exactly yeah, right. what That's... I got wrong. 
<laughs> That's what's confusing about it. That yeah. was that was exactly what I jacked up. Yeah, like how many games did we go through, and we're like, oh, we did this wrong <sighs> how again. How does that work? All right, so you just added three, right, Zeke? Yep. So I yep, come three. over here to my dear my 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 dear friends well, in the center, Patrick. You got that's anything? eighteen now, right? That's eighteen. Do we need to check again? Nope, nope. No, nah, because we've gone go. all the way through once, and we checked. Oh, okay. We went all the way through once, and by the way, we're being stricter than even the multiplayer rules in Blue Car as written are. We're being less generous. Yes, we are. Than those wow. rules are. And it's crazy to me, because otherwise there's no point in Modice, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, we realize that this way works out a lot better yeah. with working yeah. with the Modice. So you've yeah. now gone 18, so now here in the center, Mr. O'Toole, what do you got? So Somebody, I think when Sam comes out with a new book, a second edition, he needs to add that in there and give you credit. So I'm all, so I'm allowed to move anything. Well, you've got you've already moved these guys, so you're done, right? Yeah. These yep. guys here in your in your right wing are these guys close enough? They are not. So you could move all this these four these five fellows these horse right here could all certainly move as a group one point each. Okay. If you wish to. Uh, no, nah, I think I'm good. All right. Oh, by the way, I got to give our guy Giorgio credit. Check out the Cossacks, huh? Huh? Oh, I was going to get the guys in the front here. Cossacks. Damn, these guys here, the colorful guys. These lovely Friggin, uh, cuirassers. Cuirassier. Was nice. The Grenzers look awesome. The Grenzers are great. Yep, that's that's Giorgio. They are all, however, left-handed, but we know that. All right, so we're going to get a pass <laughs> from uh, the center, leaving us still at 18. So, Jed, what do you got? Anything? Well, I've moved all six of these, all seven of these units already. So that's going to be Can it. I move them again? No, you cannot. Uh, I'm done then, right? Yeah, yep. okay. So you're done, you're done. So th And that'll happen. That'll happen sometimes, especially before units come into contact. So, that's f so that leaves us at 18. How about now, French? Can the Allies keep going? I'm sorry, what was it? 18. Yes. You may keep going, Zeke. Yes, wow. Okay. okay. Um, I'll move uh, the positional battery here. All right. Just enough. I'm going to have to rotate them. Just a little bit. If guns move, they can't shoot, correct? Correct. Except horse artillery. Okay. Okay. That's it for me. That's two more to 20. Uh, anybody else want to do anything at the center of the right? I think you were all set with what you had. I'm done. I can't do anything. Yeah, that's true. Not until uh... I'd like to, but <laughs> I can't. <laughs> that that's uh, sympathetic. Uh, all right. So how about twenty French people? They are done. They're done. There it is. All right. So let's see here. I did forget. I neglected to double check my uh, my fog. Let's see here. From turn four to six. Oops. Visibility is 12 inches. Anybody got a shot anywhere they want to try? Don't think so. No, no nobody's within 12. How do you get that? Uh, how do you do a measurement? What you do is you put it where... Now, let's talk about that. Might as well. Measurement is from the center front. So I'm putting my finger of my hand at the center. Then you hold down the tab key and stretch it on out. The tab key. And it's center yeah, to nearest. Okay. okay. And how about if you wanted, like, I want to measure the gap between these two guys here? We typically do. Should I just go over here to the side? That's where your finger is. Oh, okay. okay. Same thing. Just go center to yeah. center. Okay. Mm -hmm. Rather elegant. Oh, that's center to center. It has to be. Yeah. Yep. 
So, so that's greater than four inches there. So now I've, I've managed to create two groups for myself, right? Exactly. I can't move them all at once. Exactly. Okay. I'd like to start over again. <laughs> <laughs> the um so that takes us to the bottom of the turn which means it's now turn four clipping right along very nicely done this slows down by the way when the shooting starts unfortunately uh mm -hmm. may i ask the allies to please give the french some mo dice here on turn four Got to roll no. that five. There it is. Well, there's a number. Napoleon, who gets to go first? All right, I, let's see. My left side. Are you moving? You're still moving some of your guys up, right? Mm-hmm. Which one? Who do you want Napoleon with? Well, I think you should put them with the one, the group that has the most units. So that's still going to be right. four here. Yeah, it's still going to be these four. four. So we'll keep. Yeah, because this is three, three, two, three, three. Well, I mean, all right. I mean, this is this reserve artillery. Can it go with? Uh... No, because no, they're still part of the reserve. Okay. Well, yeah. We'll all right. Yeah, so we'll go with these guys again. They must be four. Okay, one core. One core is on the clock. Hit it. Hangar flying, you are absolutely right. If we all made the same mistake, we're fine. <laughs> I suppose I owe the world a couple screenshots. I do like the lovely cavalry coming down from the Pratsen. I'm not too thrilled about that. Oh, well. I was speaking more of aesthetics. Rumbling wrong there, steady. <laughs> we suddenly have people yelling out there in the chat, and I don't know why. All right. They're done. Four? One, two, three, four. How about on the left, Daniel? What do you two. Got? Daniel, what do you got? Oh, sorry, two. Why do I forget? Thank you. You are. I'm going to move my light cavalry. Light cav. So both these boys, that'll be two points. Go. Should be about it, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. The other part of the cavalry reserve is over there. All right, that's four points. Over to you on the right, Robert. I'll move the uh, fourth here. All right. Okay. So that's a grand total of two, four, and seven. I, I'd be shocked, but I do have to ask. Allies, may the French continue. We're good. Yes. All set. Napoleon, fire away. Let's go with the guard corps. Oh, really? Fancy. Really? Really. Okay. 
Just under a thousand figures on the table, by the way. So this is a small one. Right. It's not Vagram. Oops, I, I drew a red line on the tabletop there. Why are you going to be drawing on the stuff? <laughs> this one can't nice things. <laughs> All you got to do is go up to your pencil. Garbage. Yeah. And it's all gone. Yeah. All right. No, my my Napoleonist collection runs to twelve thousand to twelve thousand to two thousand eight hundred figures, and wow. uh, I always stressed every time somebody bending my damn bayonets. I love playing on tabletop simulator. I almost don't care what you do. Okay, that's four. Well, that was seven. So f four plus seven is 11. Over to Dan. All right. But... Dan. Okay, I am going to move my heavy cab All right. uh, first and attach Masena to oh, the second. Oh, here we go. Second. It has to be attached before I move. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do a difficult maneuver. Mm-hmm. Have enough room? Yeah. If I can grab him. He's going to get fancy. Very nice. Oh, nice. Nicely done. So now doing. I can move that as one core. Correct. Yep. Correct. 12. Good move. 12. 13. 14. Well, it's turn four, which means that uh, our guy yeah, on the right... Doesn't Robert have to go? Hold on. Oh, sorry. Yeah. What was... Anything missing? Because it was just these guys, right? Takes us to 14. Yeah. Uh, 14. Well, I move first, yeah. then him move. Now, now Robert goes second. Now Robert. Right. Oh, I'm third. sorry. I thought you Robert said... Third. Oh, I thought you... I no, thought no, you were writing Now, up. Robert, remember, Robert. this is the turn that Devu starts to arrive. Or maybe starts to arrive. Yeah. So I will start trying for his guys. <laughs> I don't know why that yeah. amuses me so much, but it's like, I will now start attempting to get Davu's blind self onto the map. Now, does he have to roll for each? Like, he rolls Every for each brigade. one this turn? Each brigade. Okay. okay. So, uh, and so therefore, it would be my recommendation, I guess. And by the way, they start coming in right here. Okay. Basically right above your name. So who do you want to ask about first? Uh, I'll start with the infantry. All right. Go well, the... uh, just, just to refresh, uh, on a one to three, they show up. Four to five, four, five, six, they don't. So you got a die roller here. If you want to grab it, you can just switch it down to, or I can give you another one. Here we go. Sure. Give you your very. You should, a fellow should have his own die roller for God's sakes. Let's have some humanity. Mm -hmm. Let's see right down here, right in the frozen lakes. How's that? That's good. And so you can roll a one d six, one to three. This uh, Kister's Keister's brigade shows up. You just want to click that one. It's actually, it's actually right on the yeah. And he does. So we'll, I'm gonna put. Okay. I'm just gonna put him here real quick, and then we can stack up the others right next to him. So let's check for Loche. Nope, he don't want to come yet. How about La Plante? He's too busy oh, smoking. He's smoking something. Yeah. He don't no. want to come either. He's bored. Mm. And uh, how about and, uh, how Oh my God, no! Uh, they don't. None of those fellas. Just so. So apparently, only Kister is in the mood. Mm hmm. So I'll do a complex move with him. And if you, you know, 
if you want to bring him in here or over here, I'm not going to, you know, you want to shoot a gap. I'm not going to fuss with you. Okay. Yeah, I'll bring him in a little bit to the left. Mm-hmm. You got, and you got the straight up screaming, go to the left for God's sake. All right. Oh, uh, Jim. Uh huh. Asval, which he's mentioning again. Mm-hmm. Reinforcements to enter at the end of the turn. Mo dice. That's free. not. That is different in this briefing. Ah, okay. Yep. The briefing supersedes on that. Don't know why, but they do. Okay. It's just a scenario rule. That's scenario all. Rule. I know that is correct, though, Has. I know that is true. If so, Has doesn't think he's being ignored. <laughs> he's feeling lonely <laughs> out there. All right, so these other guys are smoking cigarettes. They're, they're good. Wait a minute. If Has has tabletop, how come he doesn't ever plays with us? This is kind of my point. So he's, has... got this, he's got this one guy, so that was 11. And then we had these two fellers move. So that was uh, 12, 13. So this was 14. How about 15? What do you think, allies? Can the French go? Yep. 15. Napoleon, you're up. All right. My reserves here. All right. Core. Well, thank you, Joseph Noel Videography. Pleasure to hear that. I own that Austerlitz with Jack Palance. It is among my favorite movies ever. <laughs> if you if you told me that I was going to get to see a Jack Palance movie with with, with him as Weirother in a very bad wig. Oh my god, I love that movie so much. It's an Abel Gantz movie too. I'm done. All right, I was I was I was rhapsodizing on Jack Palance. How many did you move? Not a problem. Two. Two. Seventeen. Over to you, Daniel. We still have enough mo. They they don't ask yet. It's, it's you still. We don't ask till the end of the turn. Okay. I'm gonna move fifth core. Okay. These three units. Got it. Uh, Hasbro's thing is he can't get Steam Chat to work. All right. Has, you're telling me if we go to Discord, you can play with us. Is that what you're saying? That's how much you mean to me, Has. I guess we're going to have to, right? I'd have to. I, I, I Seriously, if that's what gets Has on board. I'd be down for it. I've never had a problem with, as you all know, I've never had a problem with Steam Chat, but... Ah, neither have I. But Tuna, apparently. And now has. Not acceptable. Okay, I'm done. 20. 20, 20, 20. Did you have anything you wanted to overdo, do over here, Robert? Yeah. Oh. Prepare these guys. Nice. Yes, indeed you will. Because they're those, these fellows are coming with intent, especially those Grinzers. I don't trust them. Yeah, well, they haven't moved yet. That's true. They have not. That was twenty-two. How about that? Twenty-two. What do you say, allies? Can they keep going? Nope. Done. Oh, come on, Done. please. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that's how that works. I thought I'd try. Yeah, you know, you <laughs> can't blame the guy for giving it a shot. Um, I think we are still in fog until turn six. That's right. So we're still at 12 inches. Yeah, nobody's close. So still no shooting, right? Still no shooting. I don't see any. Still no shooting. Still yeah, no shooting. Anyway. All right. That takes us to turn five. If the French will please give the allies some mo dice. 
Would one of my generals please like to roll? In the desperate hope that you roll all ones, right? Close. Shh. Don't tell them. The uh, <laughs> We'll start over here with Zeke. You're up. Okay. Um... All right, I'll activate um, the five units that are out here on my top left. They are certainly within so range. All four Please proceed. Tree and okay. Start with start with the Grenzers. Oh, they're flying in. Their colorful uniforms dirty. <laughs> and then you're one to talk with the Tyrior to pull up there. This will be a uh, complex move for the yeah, cavalry. Yeah. All right. And by the way, just because Giacomo does so much work for us, once again, we have to look at these guys. See these guys in this brigade, Keenmeyer? It's one of those cases where this actually is the unit that was in the brigade, Keenmeyer, in 1805. Take that. Authentic uniform. Wow, those guys are pretty old then. Booyah. <laughs> You're funny. You're funny. Yeah, uh, you know. And looks don't count. I exactly I was gonna say that I thought I let it go. And suddenly the fields are lousy with guys. That unit right in front of that unit you're moving there, that second brigade leaders are they in a building or something i can't quite see these guys oh, I, I can uh yeah they are in they're actually in uh Sokolnitz. okay yeah yeah they have garrison Sokolnitz. i forgot i could uh, i could uh zoom in oh cool i'm glad you remembered <laughs> okay uh so five for me five there uh in the center That's where I'm going. What do you think, Patrick? Okay. Question. If I move the rear battery up, they still be able to shoot over the horse artillery? Uh, well, first they can't shoot because they move, and no, you can't shoot other over other units. Okay. So that's no twice. No horse artillery well, can they, shoot when they move. This isn't horse artillery. Oh, over there! I thought you said horse artillery. I'm yeah, no, he. he I, I um, took his question okay. to be so, if he moved this guy here. So if he moves into position, and the French move into range. Will he be fire, able to fire? Um, no. Well, first thing, you've got to get to the ridge to be able to shoot. So, for okay. example, this horse artillery, if it wants to shoot, does need to be at this ridge. Now, I love Ross's ridges. I think they're incredible for being two dimensional. But I do try to be okay. generous. But you do have to be up on the ridge and make a good faith effort to be on it. In addition, right. if you're on the ridge enough to shoot over it, it's enough to be shot at. Okay. So, all right. I'm just going to move the horse artillery up. Okay, the thing you're going to want to think about, if you do that, you can't then go back and do core activations. So okay. If there's any of these guys you want to do as a core, you got to do them now. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I put Thank it. Thank you. Uh, all right. Yeah, I would. Uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'd like to move these three as a core. Very good. Beautiful. Nice ostrich. While he's moving, Jim, can I ask you, my reinforcements come on this turn? Yep, sure do. Now, your reinforcements are as described by Haz, which means they're going to come marching onto the map six inches at the end of the turn. Ah, oh, okay. So you don't have to spend and, any and, and, points to activate. Davu, I okay, think, is a little Good. different because of his, uh, his let's say, episodic arrival. <laughs> okay. Tardiness, in other words. 
Well, let's be fair. It's, They've been marching hell for leather all the way from Vienna, for God's sake. It's and foot, come on. Is this allowed six inches, the foot artillery? Foot artillery is six inches if it makes a simple move. So you can't touch that uh, little stream thingy there. Okay, I'll pause there. Maybe the Russians want to do something. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, eight. I move three. Yeah, eight, right? Yeah, so okay. eight. Eight over to you, Jed. All right, I'm going to move these five. Very good. Uh, the horse artillery is going to... My, my cursor keeps changing to the pen for some reason. Uh, Don't do that. Yeah, it did it again. Hmm. There you go. Oops, I can only go three. Correct, since you're making it a complex move. Okay. And then these guys, I think I can... That's a question mark. Jim, I don't know if you you said it or not when explaining explaining the rules with the firing. Mm -hmm. I know you did with the uh, with the, the yeah. cities and the forest. It's telling if you're touching a stream, you cannot you cannot fire. Also, oh yes, true. If you are touching a stream, no shooting. Blucher is very. Just so you guys are aware, Blucher is very in for unforgiving gi giving given the uh, scale. I cannot get these guys to do what I want here. Hold on. You call for an assist if you need it, but I trust you. That's your first mistake. <laughs> so, wait. Uh, all right, I want to group these four units together, so... I tab down, right? And nope, nope. First thing you do no, is no, no. you, you got to lasso them. Yeah. Left click, drag, get them oh, all. Oh, I just lasso them. Okay, okay, got it. Oops, I missed one. Wait a minute. Since when did uh, Napoleon I just get cowboys? Stop it. <laughs> okay. Now I can. Left click and hold. Left click, left click. Oh, what happened? You turned him. Now hit your E key. No. I... There you go. I didn't want to do that. All right. Okay. Oh, it went in. And now yeah. get your tab key okay. and hold it. And there you go. And there they go. Just like magic. Right. Okay. Perfect. All right. Close <laughs> enough to per That was an effort. Close enough right. to government work. Close enough for government work. That's for sure. I'm, I, I have some experience of that, just so you know. I have a little bit. <laughs> so 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Am I right, 13 or just 12? Yeah, I moved that guy. No, I, I moved that artillery. Okay. The hard so artillery 13. Too. That's 13. What do you think, French? Can they keep going? Nope. Oh! oh! Bruising. What was their number? But I do get my reinforcements. Correct, you do. 13. 13. 13. 13. Wow. That's a rough number. Yes, you get your reinforcements. I mean, they come on and they move six inches onto the table. Okay, so it's basically. Oops. Wait, first I have to move them up to the edge here. No, no, no. It's here. I'll just give you a marker. There you go. Right about there. Right about where? About there. The blue marker or the right, the black marker? Where there? my arrow is. Now there's a red arrow and a black arrow. Look at all these arrows. Those are nice. Yeah, there's arrows all over the place. I'm... <laughs> black arrow. <sighs> Sorry. Just, just grab one unit, put it there, and then he can fit. Yeah, I was, I was trying to, to say, move that's them all. the thing to do. Is just grab one, and you can put everybody else next to him. There we go. There we go. There you are. Okay. 
Where's your where's You're your fine. marker though? Right where you are. Okay. She's great. All right. Whoops. Okay, I'll just move one. Doesn't take that long. Yeah, it's actually faster. <laughs> oh, look at the Cossacks. You gotta love them. And what's this that my horse artillery will come up here? Actually, you can go here, right? Mm hmm. Sure can. Okay. And don't forget, you got Piotr along. He can, he, at this, as was said earlier by, da by Daniel, you can attach him oh. to a unit at the start of a turn to make him effective. That puts him at risk, which means if he's in a combat, he has to roll and he can die. But uh, otherwise, he just kind of hangs out. But notice he's got a very nice ability. What's his ability? If he is attached to a unit, it gets a universal plus one in combat. I Extra see. die. Yeah. Combat meaning melee or melee. Uh, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, okay. And it puts him at risk, yeah. Yeah. But that's that an extra die can be the whole world. But he's gotta be there at the start of the movement. So But and yeah, what's his move distance? Uh he, he it's basically infinite. You basically okay. you, you so slap it does, him, sort of doesn't matter where I put you him. want at the start of the turn. Okay. Okay, great. Just like Napoleon. All right, so they're on the map. So uh, now all everybody's here. The gang, as it were, is all here. How nice. Well, mostly all here. Well, yeah. that's... <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, Davu is busy. All right, so those reinforcements are on. Uh, that takes us to turn six, which is the last turn of any fog. Hmm. Uh, may I ask the allies to please roll some mo dice for the French? I saw dice rolled. I don't know what the okay. number is. But they're rolled. Napoleon, who gets the magic? We're going to stay with, uh, with the ones he's with. All right. right here. What they gonna do? I think they're trying to figure it out. <laughs> That's what I like to see, Daniel. Rulers measuring things in advance of the turn. <laughs> well done. Yeah, I'm in a ball down situation, so I gotta figure out something. Yeah, you've got a you've got an abundance of riches, but now you've got the entire Russian army bearing down on you. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> <laughs> You're kinda of sitting there going to Napoleon, this had better work. It will, I promise. Yeah, that's what you're telling Santelaire. All right. That's so, two. That's two. Daniel. All right, moving uh, fifth core here on the far left. So you got what? These three fellers? Yep. This right here is something that would have given me fits if these were real figures. I'm going to have to push him over a little bit since he flopped no around. But I see what you're doing. You had more than enough room. All right, that's good. Five. What do you, what do you feel like, Robert? 
Uh, well, I'll go with the off-table guys first. All right, see if we can wake up Davu. Why don't we start we'll with start Loche with again? the infantry, yeah. Yeah. Oh, there he Yay. is. Okay. He says, hey, what you doing? So he'll move up. Well, like I say, we'll put, uh... we'll put him there for a sec. Just checking to see what these other fellas are up to. How about La Planche? <laughs> yep. And you can organize them however you want. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Sahuk is still not there. What about Davu himself? Davu can go wherever he wants. He's a sub commander. All right, that's what I thought. Okay. So that these fellers are all available to you as part of this activation. So which ones do you say were all available? Just the two moving on? Or... Nope. And... Okay. So the three, the three men of the three brigades of third corps that have decided to arrive. Okay. Does he, does the Vu get to add like one or one or two to him too? Doesn't he? If he want, if he wants to attach him right now, yeah, that's a good point because Robert wouldn't necessarily know this. D take a look at Davu's special ability. If you wish to attach him right now, which you can do. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Hoenlo Ho 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 just changed the. Somebody just moved him to the other side of the board. What got moved? Guy Ho Hoenlo. Where's that? This, this, this right, right uh, where, where my hand is. He was over here. Whoa. Someone picked him up and just All right, so we're tossed him out weird. Somebody want to give yeah, me the... Uh, be over here. Somebody want to point at it for me, please? This one here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. It's supposed to be way over here. Yep. He's, well, the nice thing I mean, is, I'm okay. That's nice legal. Thing is we know exactly where he's supposed to be. Yeah. There we go. All good. I can't get the, the uh, ruler to work again. If I try to put the finger right on the center of the unit, it picks up the unit and moves it. Let me come over by you. Just show me over here. Show me with this guy. Right here. Okay, sure. Wherever. I want to see how far he, I see how far six inches is on his move. Any one of those guys in the front actually work. Okay. Ooh, okay. That's six. Yep, thanks. Sure thing. Okay. All right, well, we'll get some combat this turn. Check it out. That's not boring. Moved on, moved on. Uh, you have to attach Davu to someone if you wish to receive that benefit, which you can get. So you stick him over there, good enough. And that means that instead of the one, two, three that that would have cost, I believe he cuts it to, yeah, to two. So two. And given the fact that Ron had two, and given the fact that Daniel had four, 
two, two, and four sounds like three. eight to me. No, Daniel had three. Uh, yeah, I had three. I had three. Oh, I had three. that oh. sounded like seven I... to me. My apologies. Seven. How I again? I suspect. But allies, can the French do another turn? Yeah. All right. Starting with Napoleon, seven. If they want to, oh, they, they don't have to. Yeah, right. If you, you know, don't feel obligated. <laughs> The creepy thing is it's playing out exactly as it did. Well, almost. Let's hope not. Well, okay, there's a point. That's fair. Eight, nine. You can move Napoleon if you want. Ten. Eleven? Yeah, that's good. All right. Eleven, Daniel. Okay. Oh, oh, no. Oh, <laughs> I just saw it happen. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> I wanted to see that cement plant, but... All you got to do to see it, actually, is mouse over it and hit the Alt key. Oh. It'll fill your whole screen. Alt key. I'm uh, on a Mac. I don't have an Alt key. Oh. Hmm. It's one of these keys, but that's all right. I saw it there for a minute. That's good enough. All right, I'm done. Move three. Those fellas right there? All right. Yeah. So seven plus four plus three, that's, that's uh, 13, that's 14. Yes. 14 over to you, Robert. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave this core for well, this division for a turn. So the others move up. So I guess I'll activate the light cavalry here. All right. It can move six in a difficult move, so you know, Robert. Oh, right, yeah. Thanks. Okay, actually, there's no, there's no move penalty for yeah, going yeah, up yeah, a crest? He, he, there's and none. Yes, you can. There's none. He can charge one of these if he wanted to. He, oh, yeah. he can charge oh, yeah. and do his He whole could move. charge this guy. Yeah. He would. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about Either charging. They're within six, right so. Here. so right here. Rules about charges. Yeah, the, the biggest rule about charges are these two. And I'll put you back here, Robert, because I know where you were. Sure. Number one, you have to be able to see the unit you're charging at the start of the turn. It's a big deal in this game. Number two, you are allowed to pivot 45 degrees prior to making a charge. But after that, your center line must cross into that unit. What do I mean? This guy here can't charge this fella here because he'd have to turn too far. And if he only turns 45 degrees, he can't, his center line doesn't cross this. In order for cavalry to charge, and I was just looking this up so I can actually just see it right in the book. You ignore terrain when you charge. Mm. It's six inches for infantry. 12 for cavalry. A cavalry unit may not charge through any woods or an urban area. And you can't go through a major river, but we don't have major rivers here. And in, in Blucher, there is no squaring up. We just do what we call the bonk. You hit it and stop. 
So, to your point, this fella can charge that fella. Also note, there's a fourth greatest threat, which would be that cavern. Uh, that's a good point. Closer. You must charge greatest threat, which probably would be this dude right here. Yeah, I agree with Daniel. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, I will charge the cavalry then. So you're going to pivot him? Yeah. I'd give it one more probably and go straight at him. You don't have to measure. We know you got six inches. Nope, it's got to be straight. So it's going to be about there. Okay. Bunk. Cool. We have a charge. Check it out, people. Assault and battery. Assault and battery. Also... So that was two more, and that was an individual activation because this was coming out of the fourth core, not yeah. the third. Oh, those calves aren't together in the same core? Correct. Gotcha. So, so that's what, 16 so total? That's 16 total. So we look over at our good friends, the Allies, and say, hey, can those French keep going? Yep. 16. Do I do a command move now? Napoleon. Or? He can bust out his command move. That's true. Haven't seen one yet. For who? You have like a bunch together. You can move at the same time. Oh no! I did Napoleon the first thing. That was the first. No, but that's his ability. That right no, the that's his ability. Oh. It's his ability. That's distinct from command his move. CNC. Command move is our phase, but if you drop a commander within anything within two of that commander can move but remember that's his last that's the last thing you do yeah that's the last thing and they don't have to be um in the same core i only got these guys over here to move so you can move all five, all of, five those of those with one command move or we can keep going with group moves yeah moves. because the other thing is that that ends all movement that would be your last thing you do yeah. I, I don't know, you might be done, especially since Robert has decided to make trouble down here. So you activating this reserve core? Yep. All right. Done. All right, 17, 18, 19, if memory serves. Over here to you, Daniel. Okay. I'm going to do a core move with all this cav. It's a lot of cav. Excellent. Holy cow. Okay. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Very nice. Robert, what do you got? Anything? Um, I'm going to move these dragoons. Okay. No. I will do... Uh, Complex move with them. Mm -hmm. There. I mean, Davu is just, you know, a placeholder. You can move wherever you want. Okay. You get about a third of an inch there. I do want you to snug so you don't go off that board there we go so that's 26 with them dragoon fellers and who's doing that 
Who's measuring what? my guys? Me. Got it. There. I thought I was doing it, and my, my mouse was out of control. So he's still moving, French? He's done. That's the, that he is, Robert has moved 26. So what do you say, allies? Can they keep going? No way. No way, he says. Well, be that way. Be that way. All right. So it's shooty time. Let's take a look and see what we have for shooty time. Um, this gun, let's see, suddenly, with that mighty 24-inch range, is out of range. Nope. Out of Still nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. No shooting here. All right. That's, well, uh, he moved, right? Yeah, they moved. So that leaves us with just a melee. Very exciting. Very exciting. These fellers, six, but they're undersized. That means they're going to lose a die. So they're at five. And I'm afraid they're also okay. Gonna... What's this? Okay. Yeah. They're undersized, so they're going to roll five. Over here, this cavalry brigade, they're oversized. And they roll, so they're going to roll eight dice. The problem is, because of that river, or stream, I should say, I am fairly certain it's another minus one. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, this is now not a six, but a four. So you're going to roll four, you're going to roll four dice, Robert, and you're going to okay. hope to roll four fives and sixes. Zeke is going to roll eight dice and hope to roll four, five, and six. Hit it. All right, here we go. Oh my god. Oh, ouch. All right, so that's a pretty oh, obvious god. win. <laughs> so what happens, so you know, he still does have to take a hit. So he's down to six. You lose two, so you're down to four. And you must retreat, which means you must go back six inches and face the wrong way. Okay. So you're going to have to turn around and basically face the edge of the board. Nicely done. Yes. And you can just, I measured it out. You can just put your, put this corner, yep, right there. So you got bounce. So that's how melee works. It's that simple. It's that direct. Um, so you charged across the, the goal box and got bounced pretty hard by Keenmeyer's cavalry brigade. Um, had you been able to charge these Grenzers, the story, I think, would have been a good deal different to be honest, they would have, uh, yeah, they would not have liked it nearly as much. All right, that's it. Um, yeah, that's got it. So we scooch over to turn seven. Make sure everybody's got their turn seven updates, please. What have you done with my red marker? Probably pitched it over the rail. Oh. There it is. Oh yeah, it fell off when I <laughs> no when, it, when the turn the seventh the table. French, please give the allies some uh, mo dice. Zeke, fresh from your triumph here at Telnitz, what do you do? <laughs> I should say so. Um, I just, I want to activate uh, these two units mm -hmm. and just put prepared markers on them. All right. And what does that do? Give you what in uh, melee? The key piece is if you charge him with cavalry now, he doesn't have to re-roll all his hits. Okay. If you catch a, a infantry brigade with cavalry in the open, or not in the open, period, he has to re-roll all his hits. Just like you saw. All right, so that's... And one. if your horse so hits that square, 
That horse. It's essentially like from the horse square. has to be rolled. It is Sam Mustafa, the man who wrote the, Sam Mustafa, the guy who wrote the rules, will tell you it's more than forming square. I have said to him directly, mm-hmm. I don't see how. To me, it's forming square. Yeah. Okay. So one, two. Anything else, Zeke? Or are you good? Um, just those two. All right, just those two. One, two over there. That takes us over here to the center. Okay. I would like to move uh, these threes a core. Uh, so it's, I'm sorry, which fellers? One, two, three. Is that legal? Uh, fourth, fourth, and Can fourth. you get that other? No, this one is part of the right wing. This okay. one is in your core. How far away are they? They are within range. Exactly. So, yes, these three can be moved as a core. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. All right. I get the F1. F1. There we go. Back one sec. Good enough. Hidden. Sorry. No worries. Doing fine. Mm-hmm. Okay. And is inner can he move through the other battery? Uh, I'm sorry, what was the question? Yeah, I think... Can you move through the battery? He can, as long as he can clear it. Oh, is that right? Oh, has checks me. Just so you know, Robert, I wanted you to see this. Has dribble. You're right. The He's man right. who checks us. This fella here, he gets to stay face... He is an attacker. So he gets to remain facing the enemy. Okay. Right. Defenders are the ones that bounce out. Thank you, Has. I was just reading that on page 64. Okay. So is this... Yeah, he's not going to clear. Not on a... Not a bec- oh, and yeah. the other thing... It, well, I'd give you a break on this... On nicking this, this river. But the problem is, yeah, he can't get clear. So he's going to have to turn and move a simple... Or a complex, I should say. Okay. All right. How do I do that again? I'm sorry. No, it's all you got to do is turn it, and he gets a uh, three-inch move. Okay. He's going to turn to get around him. Like that. Yep. That's great. That'll work, too. Just like that. But it's got to be three inches. Oh, shit. I didn't... Uh... It's about here. You're going to have to pull back to about there. I'll scooch you a little bit that way, like so. That's about yeah. true. I think I'm on the river, though. Uh, yep. Yeah, you're going to be on that stream no matter what you do. Okay. All right. Uh, so if I move this guy, that takes care of all our core moves, right? Well, like I say, he's not in the core. That's the problem. Okay. So I mean, but if I move him... Yeah. No... We, we, okay, so I'll just leave him for now. Okay. Okay. And then I'll move these three as a core. Oh, shoot. Whoa. Okay, so he, I'm sorry, I apologize. I missed that. These two, these are four core advanced guard. He belongs with these guys. So 
So you've, okay, got a broke, so how... you, you've got a broken situation here. You're going to have to piece out. This is a core. That's fine. But this guy okay. also is in that same core and got left behind. All right. So. So what you're going to have to do. The... Is that kosher? No, unfortunately, you're going to have to do an individual move to get him back over here. Okay. And get him in range when the time comes. And then these fellas right. are going to move together. So right now, you're pretty well done with these two. I'll let this one... Actually, you may want to pull this guy back because it puts him closer. Okay. So if you pull him back the three inches... To right... There. That and then he was facing this way. No, he was. Oh yeah. Sorry. No, he was pointing to the. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. So he's still out of core range, but this is the guy you want to get him with. Okay. So right now you've moved two. All right. And that's the, and we'll come back around. So Zeke, you moved. You prepared to... Uh, just prepared them. Yeah, yeah, two. And then this is two. That takes us over here to Jed. All right, I'm going to move my... Uh, what is this core called? My re Is this a reserve? What is this called? This is your right wing RW. advance guard. Oh, right wing advance guard. Okay, let me see if I can get them all. Oh, man, you're out of your mind, man. Go for it. Hey... <laughs> No. You don't have them selected yet. Oh, and that's All the other right, thing. Just... You, you, you don't have that set to free by my looking at it. Oh, is it not? Yeah. Show me a measure from one of the units. Uh, that's the problem I'm having. I can't measure. You want to press tab and then, uh, and then do that. Yeah, press tab. Oh, tab. Tab, that's what I was forgetting. Okay. Yeah, you've not got... That's not set to free. That's unless... I really... Uh, yeah, it is. It is? Okay. So then just make yeah. sure your finger's pointing at the right spot. Okay. All right. So I'll just try to move these guys individually now. All right. Let me, you want six inches straight ahead? Yeah. Right there. That's okay. it. You can scooch everybody else up. My cursor keeps changing. I don't get it. Oops. There's a lot of Russians. I don't mind saying. That's a Vagration, Vagration, what do you call it? It's just going to hang back here for the moment. You just hang back, yep, yep, yep. Yep, So that's okay. a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus, oh, that's 11. French, can the Allies continue? Yes. 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 Zeke. Right. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll move um, these four units out here then. All right. So starting with the artillery. Hey Robert, real quick, check the tune tab. Okay. <laughs> I love it when decisions are when conversations take place.
Hey, Jim. Yes. That light cavalry brigade, uh, Margaron, you started him with an Elan 5. It should have started with an Elan 6 and undersized. Or did it? He lost two in the combat. He, oh, he, he lost two. Six. Okay. Yep. Loser, loser uh, that's two. it for me with four. And actually, I forgot my own rules. Stupid. You keep his Alon, you save Alon. But then we say current Alon. Oh, yeah. Four. Because you are allowed to rally. Uh, that was it for me, though, with four. Okay. So four. So we had two, four, seven, eleven, fifteen. All right, here in the center. What do you got? I just want to move him. This gun? You say fifteen? I thought so, yeah. He's done. Yeah, he's done. No, 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 no not yet. Don't not yet. Remember, they got to go all the way around. Oh, okay. They go all the so way I still get the... Oh, see, now you have tipped your hand. Now they have knowledge. Oops. Yeah, he can go right to the edge of that hill if that's what you're looking to do. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, hey, sorry. Uh, sorry. Don't be. There you go. There's a horse gun on that. Then, that could be then, serious. Um, All right. I believe he's got a shot here. He does. That is, in fact, a shot, but we're not there yet. Because we still, okay. although now Jed is covered with the grim shadow of knowing this is the last turn, or the uh, the last movement. I what are the three? This this town right here, Bla, is that Blazowitz? That is Blazowitz. Yeah, Blazowitz. Okay, that's one of the three victory uh, towns for the French. Yep. Yeah. Yep. What are the other two? Uh... <laughs> You would ask complicated questions like that. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. It's no, not no. on my front. Holobitz, it's not over here, right? It's Holobitz, Pratza, and Blazovitz. With Where are the other two? Where's Pratza? Holobitz? Is right there. Okay. And Holobitz should also be up here in the north. Yep, right there. Oh, right there. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. So it's up to me now? Uh, it is, yes. Oh, I don't know what to do. Let's see. Do I want to advance, guys, up the, toward Blazovitz? Or hold the position on the ridge line here? Anybody have any advice? Mm -hmm. <laughs> up to you <laughs> yeah um, thanks and i would say just leave your artillery clear lines of sight whatever you end up doing yeah okay let's that, that, do... that is not stupid oh. Oh, oh no no that, that didn't that wasn't meant to do that All right. Okay. Oh, I can't make a complex move with a group like that, right? Complex sure move has to be done individually. I can? Sure. Sure, as long as it's, you know, as long as no one unit exceeds its movement limit. Okay. So 
nothing you could do on in a real tabletop, but it's you know. I don't know. One more try here to do a group move, and then I'm going to go back to moving them individually. Okay, there's our group. Mm -hmm. Now I right, I left click, left -click. I grab them. Now hold down the. There you go. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Can't turn them though. No, I didn't. No, I didn't want to turn them. Okay, there. I just want to move them a little closer to the. That's fine. Just so okay. you know. That's it. You know, now he can't shoot over the crest. He can sh certainly shoot this way. Uh, yeah, okay. But that's the horse artillery, so. Yep. Okay, uh, that's all right for now. All right. I'll have to. All right, later. it is a known fact, a little, a poorly kept secret, that that exhausts the allies' moves. So let's see what shots they might have. Uh, any allied fire? Yeah, uh, right. Yeah, I think you do. I'm him. Yep. That's a shot, no doubt about it. Uh, you have six, so you're going to roll six dice looking for sixes. Okay. Oh. okay. Just, what do I do? Pick up, how do I do this? You come on right over click. here. Come on over here to the left or the right. Where are you? I'm at, I'm at the, oh, sorry, I have a you want to dice over, roller. Yeah, you want to go to any one of these dice rollers that isn't the secret one? Like you could come to this oh, one. Okay. Here, like, there you go. You switch this okay. negative. You, you hit the minus sign till it hits six. And then you just click on the six. Okay. Minus sign. See the minus sign right there? Okay. And roll. And all you oh, do what? is you click on that number, that numeral six right there. Oh, hang on. Hang on. <sighs> So I'm having trouble getting over there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Minus sign. So that's already done. So all you got to do is all hit right. that six. There you go. Oh, wow. That's nasty. That's two hits. So I come over here to this unit. And I say it's current Alon. Is four. And I come over to your horse gun. And I say that it has lost one round. Very good. Any other firing? What's musket range? It's uh, volley range is three inches. Skirmish oh. range is six. Okay. Um, I just have my two prepared units out here. All right. Who they want to shoot at? Um, I guess they have to shoot yep. mm -hmm. this closest at cal closest, right here. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll start with the Grenzers. So the Grenzers will shoot first. That is mm -hmm. skirmish. What's this? So going to prepare doesn't count as a move? It doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah. It, okay. It, we, we have played that wrong in the past, I think, once or twice, but yeah. it's it's really specific, yeah. That is correct. It's it it is the, remember I said it's the the other thing I've never been able to keep straight in my head preparing. But <laughs> but Zeke is correct. Now, let's go through a couple things. His Alan is 6. He has attached artillery. That means it's 7. However, he's at skirmish range, which means it's halved. Having is rounded up, so it's 7 halved to 3 and a half, up to 4, but he has skirmishers. But those don't count against cavalry. So he's going to roll four dice, no bonus. All right, here we go. You are a nasty Ooh. son of a gun. <laughs> that was that was nasty. Um, let's see. Who was shooting there? These uh, the Grenzers. Right yeah. Then I guess I'll do this um, first brigade next. All right, we check the range. Uh, also, skirmish range. So six, seven, four. No bonus. Okay. What oh, wow. is with you? Again. <laughs> Jeez. Again. I'm sorry. <laughs> Holy cow. 
<laughs> oh, wow, really? Come on. Those dragoons wandered Hey, into... we're Austrians. What do you expect? <laughs> they wandered into... <laughs> they wandered into a bad day. Holy cow. So shot, shot. That was correct. Uh, nothing there, nothing there. Nope. That's out okay. of range. Any other shooting? Anything else I missed? And there is no melee. Very good. How about, that? How about this unit here? What are they? The um, second brigade leaders? I'm sorry. Oh, that's... The... They're out of range, and you can't shoot into a town. Oh, you can't shoot into a town. Right, right, no. right. You may only fire... You may bombard a town with artillery, but you may not shoot into yeah. it, nor may you shoot out of it. Yeah. Melee only. So it's basically, come on in. The water's fine. You're really going to like it. Um <laughs> So here we go. That takes us to turn eight. Turn eight, please. And I would ask the allies to give the French some mo dice. Go ahead. No, I'm doing the has maneuver. I thought that's exactly what I'm doing. You All are. right, Napoleon, who gets your thing? Oh, that's right. We get the. Mm. Uh. Hold on. Going with the guard. Loving up the guard, are you? Away you go. Why you gotta be flipping guys over? You know you're not going to clear that. I could try. <laughs> I could try. Oh, I love has labeling. What are you talking about? Never said anything. Right, the guards about. moved. That's a total of two. How about you, Daniel? Moving this infantry. He is. Oh boy, here we go. Ooh. Done. It's more intimidating when you move them all together like that. <laughs> That's right. It has a psychological it effect. Is. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Five core advances. Very good. That's five. Down here, Robert. Okay. And I also, I know we're very obsessed, as we should be, with Sokolnitz and Telnitz, but I don't want you to forget your guys from 4 Core up here. Mm -hmm. I will move 4th Core a little bit right. and get clear of the screen. No, 
No, two of them out. All right. That's eight. How about eight, allies? Can the French keep going? They're good. Napoleon. All right, maybe first over here. Got it. Oh, I see. So Daniel got all menacing, and you got a copycat him. Yep. Well, it's kind of what we do as French. <laughs> it's a, it's a tradition. All right. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Daniel. Okay. Is this um, I'm gonna move my cavalry. This far left one's still stuck in the river, isn't it? It is. Yes. It is. Mm. Yeah, he's got his little river in there. I'm going to move the rest of them. This well, is a crazy them. example of how great Ross McGee's drawings are. I would swear that guy, that that is three-dimensional. Boop. Them boys there. Got it. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. You can only move six, so Yeah, he's kind of in a pocket, no doubt about it. I'm gonna move him on top of there in case you I get to you move can't, these other guys. Because you, that you can't. I can't do leave him because you don't know that you'll get another turn. Okay, no problem. Okay. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Come over here to Robert. What do you got? I'll go with uh, trying to get to my last brigade on. Oh, goodness. I forgot about him. Mm. <laughs> I know you didn't. See if he's done with his smoke break yet. How do you feel? Nope. Not interested, nope. really. But you can still activate the rest of three core. So, the cavalry is outside of three inches from the rest. So, Correct. That would have to be separate. Yeah, so I'll just activate the other two infantry with. All right. Mm. A cavalry charge is just their normal move? No, cavalry charge is 12 inches irrespective of terrain. Okay. However, remember, they cannot go through a forest or through an urban area. Mm-hmm. Oh, and no rivers. All right. Okay. So that's 17, 18, 19. 
All right, 19 allies. Can the French keep going? No, I think they're done. Done. All right. Shooting. These guys moved. Those guys moved. French, you feel do you have do you feel you have any shooting? I don't. I don't see so any. The, and I certainly The pheasant farm farm stops from shooting as well. You, you problem is you can't see through the forest. Okay. Yeah, you are bearing in mind that they gotta come in there to get you. You're defending. This is a this is gonna be a melee zone pretty much no matter what. Uh all right, and I see no melees, speaking of which. Very good. That moves us to turn nine. Nine, please. French allies get some mo dice. Can they have them? I see the dice flying in the distance. Zeke, you're up. Okay. Um, I'm going to activate... The three infantry brigades uh, kind of to the west of Pratt's. Got it. Or whatever direction this is. <laughs> Left of Pratt's, I it's guess. It's south, but that's okay. Okay, south. Okay, that's it for me. Three. Three. Over in the middle. Okay. I'm just going to move these two and try and fix this broken situation. Got it. So the fourth, fourth core right wing. Hey. Oops. I'm in. There you go. Close enough. You have a little more. Look at that. Okay. Crawling around in the start even already. Um, cool. So that is. Let's see. That was Zeke's two, over three. Your two, five over here to Jed. Okay, I want this brigade to occupy that town, that village, if I can get there. Uh, that is... Krug is not, is there for aesthetic purposes. You can't garrison. Oh! Krug. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, you cannot garrison Krug. It was not one of those that was ah, listed. Okay. okay. I can garrison this one, though, right? Um, Which one's that? Sorry, I was going. Here. I was just going to my list. Is that uh, Holovitz? Uh, yeah. Okay. I can't see the net label because my guys are standing on top of it. But... <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> the uh, I'm just trying to yeah, get my. Yeah, it's Holovitz. Uh... Okay, yeah, Holovitz gonna... is garrisonable, if that's a word. Other stuff with this core? Yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm going to move these guys up in front of the... Oh, no, that's measuring. Come on. Oh, it's not telling me how far they're moving because I didn't... Oh, but that's okay. I, you got all the you, not, you got all the distance in the world. I mean, that's barely six inches. Yeah, yeah. That's that's not a concern. Okay, well, wait. These guys, I want to measure. Give you six on that. There you go. That's four. Oh, four they're only nine going... to the ridge. If you want a full six? That's to here. 
Yeah. Okay. You're gonna have to back them up oh, a little. Too far. There we go. Then the infantry. I'll do a. Uh, Complicated no. move. Okay. Complicated move. I think the technical term is difficult, but I like complicated. It makes our game seem more elaborate. There. <laughs> These guys. There. Cool. Okay. That's it. All right. I was gifted a grand total of four. And let, me, let me align these guys properly here. Sure. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Big move over here on the right. What say you French? Eleven? Eleven? Go ahead. Zeke, you're up. Yes. Okay. I'll move uh, these three brigades uh, in my center. Very good. An artillery on a on a hill shoot over nope. anybody in front of them. They may not. Keep your lanes open. Okay, three for me, that's it. Three more. Make sure I'm doing this right. It's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. So that's fourteen to you in the center. Okay. I'll be legal now. <laughs> you still got you still got one more guy, right? This guy, yeah. Oh come on. Oh, that's nice. Okay. There you go. Perfect. Look at that. All right. So that was an individual move. Yeah. So that came around. That's everybody then. 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, over to you, Jed. Okay. I shoot after movement? Yep, yep. Okay, so if I... And just to be clear, this horse artillery still can't see anything down in the valley. Right. Right. DM, check the chat. Gotta check the chat. Oh yeah. Don't they lose for crossing the stream? Oh, they yeah, have to they stop. Be careful, right? Yeah. They have to stop as soon as they touch it. Oh, well, is it depends where they are. They get three inches of movement basically, so they can keep going. Okay. So they started right here. Yep, you're fine. I mean, you're gonna hit it at one point five, and there, that's where you gotta. Okay. You, you gotta stop it. That you gotta three. stop it. Three. Yep. At three or. Just right like there? that. That's and then one. now this guy, let's see, he's got a shot at them. He does. Uh, nope. Right. He's nope. 18 what's his inches. range? 18. Yep. It's 24. No, 24. Right? I'm sorry. 24. 24. Yeah, he's fine. He hit, okay. he's got a shot. All right. Yes, so I'm gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna move him then. All right. Uh, and I'm going to leave the cavalry here. Oh, uh, wait, let me see. Yeah, I'm going to leave the cavalry there, and I'll shoot my two artillery. Good enough. All right, so we came over here with 11, but then we got told 12, 13, 14. Then we got told 15, 16. And then we got told, my goodness, 17, 18, 19. How about 19 French? Can the uh, allies keep going? Yeah, allies keep going. Unfortunately. They can keep oh, going. Oh, yes, we can. Zeke. 
Nice. Okay, I'll do an individual move with my uh, cavalry brigade out here on the wing. Uh huh. I'll just rotate. I'm trying to charge that. I guess would the most threatening unit be this light cavalry brigade there, or would I have to It's the only one you could the... see. You wouldn't be able to do 45 and get to this one. Correct. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna try to come up. And bonk. Okay. 2021. 21 here in the center. You got an extra move you can make. Anything? Uh, okay. Okay. Move these three as a core? Uh, unfortunately, no, because you moved this guy as an individual. Okay. But you know what? So, I, uh, you, you're brand new. I'm not going to penalize you for that. Nah, you... I, I don't. I'll play by. I'll play fair. All right. All right. Go ahead. Um, then you can move out. You got. Uh, you're on individual moves then. So could, I moved him. Can I just get him up to the line? No. Once moved, you're done. Nope. No, once moved. All right. Uh, and how far away can he be to still be the core here? Three inches. All right. So. Uh, that should do it. Can you? Oh. Here. Your tail end's got to stop right there. Okay, can you... I'm sorry. Can, uh, Put him there. Yeah. If that happens, he's good. Okay. What the heck just happened? My table slipped around. You okay over there? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think I, I must have... I was trying to type and I swiveled the table around. I'm going to arrow key. Oh, I got to go right. I got to right. Yeah, okay, I got it. All right, so 23 here. Anything you want to do over here on the right, Jed? Yeah, but hold on a second. I got to get back and... No worries. Right orientation here. Uh, I wanted to... Ask my partner something here. Okay. okay. Uh, let's see. I think I will. The only two things that I haven't moved are the artillery and these two cavalry here. Correct. So I couldn't just move them up a little bit. To your point, Red, and I'm speaking to somebody in the chat. Expecting people who have never played Blucher to, before to use the reserve moves or to be Dalinor and use the reserve moves just isn't going to happen. Hey. <laughs> I know. I thought about it after uh, this. Yeah. What, what's a reserve move again? I'm sorry. No, it's all right. It is a thing you can do at the be before no. if it's your first <laughs> activation and you are 12 inches or more away from an enemy that can see you. You can move up to thirty-six inches. Okay. Well, I thought you had to be concealed for that. I guess you're not doing it. Because no, we're not. I don't play the visibility rules. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, I would have done that okay. then. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. That's not good. Gotta move him back a little bit. Yeah, we're the, the right peanut we're gallery online is suggesting that by now the fight should be on the prots. And... Yeah, well, I'm positioning to the peanut gallery. Okay, I'm done moving. The uh, awesome. All right, so that actually is twenty three. Tw How about twenty five French? Can they keep going? No, no, they are done. Oh. Done. Oh. Now we do some shooting, and I know there are some people that want to do some shooting. Why don't we start over here on the left? Okay, I guess um, with the grazers then? Yep. I'll just go left to right across my line. Okay. Can you shoot at them horsies? Yeah, four dice. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. The 
from this time. Well, finally your luck abandons you. Go ahead. <laughs> so right, uh, uh, the next unit, four dice. Let's go. One hit. Ooh. All right, now this right unit, now. That's not good. This, that unit has become fatigued. What does that mean? The principal thing, it may not melee. The goal should be to get it somewhere where it can get healed up via rallying. But that requires it to be six inches away from an enemy. And given the way these naughty Russians are acting, I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon. These guys? I guess we'll do second brigade. Yeah. Yeah, that is outside. That is volley. That is six, four. Yep, four. One hit. For the love of God, man. <laughs> you are wrong. All right, and then third brigade, they same thing, but. Yeah, they do. It's over here. I guess it's this guy. It's Kister, okay. yeah. Uh, ooh, oversized. That only counts in melee. Uh, so six, set four. Not that time. Nothing else there. Um, Nothing else here. How about this? The only other thing I have is my artillery here. You got a shot where? Where you say? Um, if I, what is it, twenty-four inches of range? Affirmative. Um, I guess only if I could see any of these infantry you units. If not, probably, I'll just wait. For I'm them. gonna say. Uh, you could see them. You could see all of them, really. Yep. Okay. Um. So you got to fire at this guy. I guess I'll. Okay, yeah, I'll shoot the first uh, brigade then. Positional battery. And they didn't move, huh? Okay, I'm assuming they didn't. No, they didn't. I believe your heavy... That is your heavy artillery. You'd think I'd remember. Is that a bonus or a plus? Bonus or a plus. <laughs> it's bonus. Bonus six six with a bonus. Now... They moved, they moved up. Not this turn. I didn't activate them. I specifically activated them. Nah, it wasn't this turn they moved up. Sorry. They moved up last turn. As bitter as that is for the... Yeah, okay, so just so everybody knows... Guns don't attrit over that full range thing, so he gets his full six dice. Also, one five, the first five, will count as a hit. So six dice with a bonus. Just one. One hit. Jim, the heavy gives you a bonus die, not a bonus bonus. Oh, okay. So one more die, please. Okay. So, so you have not hit anything yet. Gotcha. Okay. I'll just one more die. Single. Nothing. Nope. Boom. Okay. okay, that's it for my shoot. All right, scooching over here. Uh-oh. It uh, does appear that Patrick's got a shot he wanted to take. Yeah. Uh, I'm allowed to pick on anybody? Yep, anybody you like. Uh... At this range. Let me pick on this cavalry unit here if I'm in. Them, unfortunately, you can't see. You can only shoot at the people you can see. All right. Well, then, I guess we'll have to pick on him again. All right. Yeah, that's that good. Now, because you've had a shot, that is five dice. No bonus. Okay. So, I'll come over here. Oops. Go oh, wait. Grab yourself a die roller. Okay. What do I click on? The number itself. All right. Oh, come on. There you go. Now you got five dice. Okay. Click on, click on F5. There you go. Nothing. All right. That gun is fired, so I've got to take off some cannon fire from it. There we go. Any other guns? Yes. Yes. Jed had some guns. Oh, yeah. I got some. So you want to fire this guard foot first? Yep. Where do you want to go? You have a I'll choice. I'll fire at that same unit. That That's straight ahead. Demo. Just two right. hits. Seven yeah. dice. No bonus. Okay. So let's see. Over here, I can go. You want to go minus? I can't read what that says on there. Go minus. I'll try the. I go to the other side here. All right, as you like. Three. That says three. 
four, five. You said seven? Seven dice. No, you know what? I, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't read that. Let me see if I can see it. It's better. seven now. It's, it's a seven. It's seven. Now. Okay. seven. Okay. There we go. Ooh. Ouch. Two hits. DeMont is getting pummeled up there as they advance. All right. No, I thought he hit on fives and sixes, right? Nope. Only sixes. Or just only sixes. Okay. The only way you get above that is if you get a bonus. But uh, those don't; those are hard to come by for guns. Okay. The horse artillery will shoot at the uh, cavalry here. All right, those fellow the uh, Walfier, Walfier or Dopo. Uh, the uh, the heavies. Okay, I would have thought as much. That's why I was asking. And, and they the get guard horse many? is six dice. All right, so this got to go down one to the six. Mm -hmm. Boom. Boom. Look at you. It's a hit. One hit. And then I have the horse artillery over here. Give me a second. I got a. Ooh, that's rough for them. Got a decrement. Can they guns. see the, the heavy calf too? Let me check. I tell what the angle is there. You're coming with these foot guns. It's real simple. You just draw a line. The answer is no. Okay, then I'll go for the uh, uh, infantry brigade right in front of me. Volibert. Very good. That is horse artillery. Six dice. Nothing. Nothing. Hey. S still, that's some good shooting. I think that's all the uh, shooting I can see from the allies, correct? I think I'm right. So we come on down here and we got a melee. Kind of a jerk move from our friend, uh, the Austrian commander. I don't know what he's doing over there. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, but he's coming in. He is Alon 6, his current Alon. But he's oversized, so that's 7. But he's on a river, so that means he goes back down to 6. Meanwhile, our dear friend, Marcheron, he's 4. He's undersized, so he's down to a 3. So a 6 to a 3. Robert, you're going to roll three dice. You want four, five, or six. Oh, only one. Oof. Only oh, one. one. That is actually a win. <laughs> Ties go to the defenders. So uh. the consequence is our friends uh, here, they go back down to three. You will take a decrement down to four. And you must go back facing away so the, the same way you keep facing him, but you must go back six inches. Okay. Oh, hold on. Bravely done, Marshall. Bravely done, Marshall. Good shot, Robert. <laughs> yeah. Finally. <laughs> Finally catches a break over here by Sokolnitz. Sokolnitz is now a senior living facility. <laughs> As is, as is Schloss Egmul, by the way, which is really weird. It seems to be a thing. All right. I think that would be all... a great place to retire to, right on the battlefield. I Well, here's the thing, though. I would love to retire to Egmul, but just down the street, and my son and my wife and I hung out there, is a piggery. <laughs> <laughs> and the people who live there, we talked to a couple of folks who live in the senior home, which is very lovely. The berm around Eggmool is still there. And um, talking Amazing. to those folks, they said when the wind is in the wrong direction, it's rough. <laughs> yeah. All right. So with that, that takes us to turn. Did you move the turn? Yes, you did, didn't you? Nope, it's turn 10. It's turn 10. It's going to. Because the French have the French have the even turns. Wonderful. Okay, I gotta step away for a minute, but I'm I'm not doing anything right now, so Okay, cool. Turn ten. Uh if the allies would please give the French some mo dice. Who 
Who gets Napoleon's thing? Stay with the guard. All right, move him. done yeah absolutely just to comment on something that's going on in the chat my wife actually is a masterful creator of maps um i i love you know, they have very different looks i absolutely love ross's look here i love what she does for my esr and similar maps so it's uh it's i'm back a, it's a real blessing good to have you back all right that's two two over to you daniel okay I'm gonna move uh, this brigade Oh, it's on now. The French drive for Blazaritz. One of the few places I could get decent Diet Coke. In fairness, there's a McDonald's on the main highway at the north end of the battlefield, but that's built on a mass grave, and that felt weird. Okay, I'm done. That's a little weird. That is odd. All right, so five. Ah, this meat tastes a little. This meat tastes a little funny. I'm telling you, man, it was weird. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I, I, I found <laughs> out it was on a mass grave while I was in it. <laughs> you know. Five. It's in Rolenka. Five. Over here to you, Robert. Okay. Um, I'm sure the smoke break is done by now. <laughs> Your confidence is uh, admirable. Do we have a time limit on the game here, or are we going so we're done? <laughs> Oh, no, unfortunately, and I hate to say that, I was just about to mention it, uh, I was going to mark us at one hour to go in about five minutes. Okay. I don't, okay. I, 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 oh, and are they back? They're not back. Jeez. Nope. Yeah, I know I would love to push this forward, but uh, I know people have bedtimes, and I want to respect that. Yeah. But uh, we'll take a look at that. All right, really so, but, all right, so, but, but you got third core. Yeah. So this is kind of an I irrelevant will... question, but what are these numbers by people's names up here in the upper right hand corner? That's, That's ping. ping. That's how well you're ping? hitting the server. It's how good. Oh, the, really? How, I'm... The lower the number is better. I have no number. You can't that's see because own. it's you. Everybody else, oh. it, that, that's that's your ping relative to everybody else. I see. Okay. La planche and the silly French running about knees bent, retreating behavior. Mm-hmm. It's admirable. Okay. I'm a third. little tired of those infantry. <laughs> I, yeah, I can't. I can't say as I blame you. 
My goodness, those are good shooters for... Well, they are Grenzers. So. Okay. No, I guess that's me. All right, that's... Uh, all right, so I count that out as two... Five, seven, so six. Six! I know they can keep going, can't they, allies, with a mere six? Ah, uh, yes. All right, they're good to go. Six. Six. If we said no, would you believe us? No, I really wouldn't. Well, <laughs> okay. I, let, let, let me put it this way. I'd be highly suspicious that you rolled four ones and a two. Okay. No, that's the way when I'm shooting. <laughs> Touché, mice. Touché. All right. Fourth activated. The fourth activated for three, so that was six. That takes it to nine. Daniel. I'm gonna activate my uh cavalry. Got it. It's one big load of horses. Oh, my goodness. Not what I expected. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Over to you, Peter. Or sorry, it's over to you, Robert. Okay. I'm locked of eight. The first division here. Are melees always just one on one, or is there any kind nope, of support? No, you can absolutely have like multi. You can, if you can make contact, it's not as easy as it sounds, but if you make contact, it works, and it's all your dice against all their dice. There's an allocation process that goes on. But uh, so, so, so it's only units in contact. Obviously, you can't have. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's it for me. All right. So by my cunning count, it was 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. How about 18, allies? Can they keep going? No. All done. Oh my oh, goodness. Wow. The French cut off in mid fight. All right, let's go look at some shooting. I think our guy Robert has some shooting. That's what I think. I do. I think so too. What do you feel like? Where do you want to start? Like and it should hover? be good shooting too. It's French. Right about there. Mm -hmm. Well, this is the Thierry yep. Dupont and the Thierry du Corse. So these guys are for serious. It is a great fortune that they managed to. Uh, shoot them at least once but where do you want to start robert well, you, know, you definitely don't want to move them no yep so this no, is your yeah. most, this oh. is your closest target so if that's what you're doing if you're firing with loche you're a line seven you have attached artillery or sorry your current is six you have attached artillery which takes you to seven and you have skirmishers and you are at skirmish range which is very nice so you're going to roll four dice and you get a bonus which means one of your fives counts. You're going to roll four dice looking for sixes. Okay. Shooting comes before melee? Correct. Yep. yep. Nice shot. That is a hit. One moment.
These fellas, ooh, they got they they're in no way limited. Nasty, nasty, nasty. It's gonna be four dice. Okay. Oh, just four dice with a bonus, and the bonus counts. Got it. That's it for my shooting. Anybody? Any other French have shooting? I'm looking for guns. I'm looking for artillery. Anything? I no. definitely don't. Nothing. All right. And I saw no melees. Correct. I'm correct. All right. That takes us to turn eleven. If I may trouble the French to please give the Allies some mo dice. And we stop at 14, even if uh, we're... Well, no, my or... intention is to stop at uh, 1100 Central, which is one hour from now. Okay. Twenty-three. I should say 2300. <laughs> okay, you got it. So we have one hour to go. Let's see how we do. Uh, Modice are in. Zeke, you're up. Okay, I'll do uh, these three infantry units out here. Go for it. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me bring it back. Okay, that's my three. Three. Here in the center. What do you got for us, Patrick? Uh, okay, since we're on the clock, what's that special deployment move? Unfortunately, you've got nobody eligible for it because you have activated all your units. Okay, so... Okay, so I can't do that special 24 inch or whatever. No, no okay. magic 20. It's actually, now that I think about it. I think, oh, I'm, oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was going to try and be intelligent. Okay. <laughs> See where that gets you. Uh, so, <laughs> all right. So, what the hell do I. So, how many turns? We, we probably got two turns left, right? Uh, I was thinking two, maybe three. Depends. All right. So I don't think anyone's in. All right. And if I move across the river, does it cost me? It just sticks you into that uh, complex move thing, difficult move. Okay. So that if I go normally go twelve, it'd be what six? Yep. Oh. I don't know. If that's even worth it then. All right. So, uh, okay, I'm still good. Move these guys forward a little bit, though. Yeah, then get that artillery up there, maybe on the on the ridge line or something. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm. Uh, I, I'm gonna start with this mess. You're actually in okay. good shape. That that fourth fourth core right wing, that's now together. Yeah. So these three guys can activate as one. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All right. Okay. So he gets six inches, correct? Yep. Okay. Okay. 
There you go. Awesome. So that's four, five, six. Four, five, six. Over to you, Jed. Uh, yeah. So, uh, are these guys close enough to be together here? Which guys? I'm sorry. The two, these two cavalry units here. This one and this one, yeah. But this one, remember, no, these... is part of a whole different core. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. Okay. Well, let's see how this goes. I guess I'll charge here. And... <laughs> that's the spirit. Bugger it. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Straight at him. There's, there's... Not that way. Hold on. It's not complex. You just shoot at him. That's it. Proud of you. Well done. It's what LaSalle... Uh, you're going sh to pull up short? Now this guy... I can move this guy, right? Sam out. I just come out this no. right here. Sorry, oh, is he short? Yep. I mean, he's not short. No, and he can make the distance. You just didn't make contact. Oh, okay. No, I want to make contact. I thought okay, so. There. Okay, cool. Now, who else? You now, can activate can him guy? later, but not right now. Right now, right you're now. in the guard. Okay. You're in the guard activation, which right. is your horse okay. artillery, for example. Okay. And your foot artillery. Uh, right. Frankly, it's all these guys all the way down here. Yeah, yeah. So now these guys don't have a shot, so they might as well move to get yep. to the edge of the... And now they do. Oops, no, 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 no. There. Mm -hmm. So stay. Yep. Uh, these guys will make a... Complex move with just the three inches, and then they'll. Nope, that didn't work. There you go. And then they can turn. Any way they like. Even move them up a little more. Yeah, a little bit. That's good. All right. Uh, okay, same thing with these guys. I got nope. You can't move them that far. Oh, you see where just, I got it marked. Okay. No. There. Yep, that's good. Okay. I'll give you these guys real quick. There you go. Right there. This is why the permutations of units works the way it does. Cool. Okay, that's everybody. That's a lot of fellers that came to you as a three plus a two which is a five but you made it a six seven eight nine ten eleven what do you think French can they keep going with eleven <laughs> well I think they shouldn't but yeah they still can <laughs> Zeke <laughs> Okay, um, let's see. I'll activate uh, these here, three infantry units on the, kind of the right side of my, my line. Here on the here. heights, very good. I'm going to try to do three inch. Mm -hmm. This guy will be six, or as far forward as I can get him. Thirteen. Okay, that's it for me. Fourteen. Over to you, Patrick. 
All right. So, we'll, we'll take these five and move them up six. All right. You talking your horses? Yep. All right. Call the ball. Move them as you like. Just so you know, you can charge this guy. Oh, I can't. I thought he was too far away. Yeah, your your charge is twelve. But well, hang on, I thought he was too far. Is it? I'm right here. So let me charge. Yeah, well, let's just charge him. Oh man, I, yeah, sure he's right? he's probably gonna be. Yeah, he's gonna be a little too far out. Yep, you're right. That's yeah. So a I little thought. too far. I checked out. it. So. Robert just barely avoided a slapping. All right. That's good. Hey, come on. <laughs> I see you, Robert. I see your blue hand doing saucy things. Oh, yes, I know what the charge rate of infantry is. <laughs> you don't see this. Turn him that way. Right. Nice, you're done. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Teen. Robert, check the chat again. It's a lot of guys. A lot of guys. Move over there. But Jed, you're up. Okay. Uh, okay, so unfortunately I think this guy is out of range of a charge. Talking about the uh, heavy calf? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, but these guys can charge. Absolutely. That should be pretty much and what you want to do here, just to show you, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a straight thing. It's like this. Oh yeah, okay. Like that. Alright. And these guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn them and move them. Oops, wait, wait. Oddly as enough, as they not, go. not attacking with the Cossacks. Who knew? Well, I, I don't know that much about the Russians, but I'm assuming the Cossacks are not battle cavalry. <laughs> your your assumption <laughs> would be accurate. <laughs> but with, I will move them. With an Alan of four, I think that's really all you need to know. Okay. But they're good for something, I guess. Well, oh, yeah. I'm going to leave that. Uh, what happens if my cavalry recoils into them? They're just going to. They, what happens mess, is right? they keep. No, they push through them. They just have to keep going. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. I just want to leave. Okay. So that's that. These guys are going to make a. Uh, complex move sideways. Sideways. Ah, 
keep doing my keystrokes in the wrong order. Left and then. Okay. Um, All right. Now, I first. Oh, wait. I guess I could just. I mean, there's no point in. I guess but he, they can. Pre I can prepare these guys in the town, right? Or are they automatically prepared? No, no. They're not automatically prepared. And you may All prepare right. them for a separate move. Yes. How do I do that? You just say so. And I give them a mark. Okay. Oh, you do it. Okay. There it is. 25. Great. Now, also something to consider. You have Bagratio. Oh, oh, no. oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got to do him. He's got to go here. I think I need this one the most. Okay. So he's at risk over there. Very exciting. Yeah, but it's, it's now is the moment. It is. 26. Oops. How about that, French? No, they may not move. He's They're done. done. They're right. done. I, They're finished. done. Finished. finished. All right, allies. Yeah. That Let's would be impressive about. if they could on four dice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are not wrong, sir. You are not wrong. Uh, so there is definitely looks to be some shooting that the allies would like to do. Oh, yeah. Want to start over here, Zeke? Uh, yeah. Um, these Grenzers, I was trying to check their six inches. They might barely have it, but I don't think they do. Let me have the a look. Brigade. I don't know if you want to double check it. That's six inches. Okay. I'll fire the Grenzers at them then. Uh, Elon, three, seven, four dice. Those are the guys that always get three or four hits, right? That's yeah. <laughs> yeah. My sniper Those, battalion. Yeah. yeah, the lunatic Grenzer Brigade. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my god. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, see, oh you gotta be kidding me. Six, 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 six. <laughs> Jason's here. Are you that's a wipeout? That is a kill. Jeez. Which lowers the French morale to seventeen. Wow. Nasty. Okay, so uh, do, which, uh, leaves brigade? the brigade Lewis nobody to shoot at. However, that does leave our friends Lighter somebody to shoot at. Uh, you're going to go here, I imagine. Yep. Uh, attached artillery, so five, six, three dice, no bonus. One hit. You, my friend, are ridiculous. <laughs> this has been a, a good dice night for me, for sure. Uh, is that okay. six? Yeah, it is. Uh, Same thing. Six, three dice, no bonus. Nothing there. Oh, gee, he decides um, to give away. Are those guns going to fire at anybody? Yeah, I'll take... Um, Shot at Morand? I'll take the... Yeah, Morand. All right, that's uh, six dice, no bonus, because you are heavy. One hit. Would love to statistically track how many times you've hit. <laughs> Go back and like check the log. Just call yeah, the that, ridiculous. That's, yeah, that... That it. That's it. That's a Valker dice roller. I'm taking it away. Yeah, I was going to say, that is clearly <laughs> the Valker dice roller, so we're going to deprive others of it. Valker smiles sitting next to me as he is. Uh, anybody? What other gunfire? Oh, yes. Patrick, I uh, think you got some guns you might like to fire. Yeah, right. My last time him, or do I have to hit him? Where do you want to go? You got this horse gun right here? Yep. You want to shoot at? You got a lot of targets, actually. Uh, can he shoot Oh, can he shoot through the town there? Through Blazovic? He there? cannot. The town blocks. Okay. All right, so I guess we're at the DeMont. If he's in you want to go over to DeMont over there? Got it. Yeah. That so is like five cherry. dice, no bonus. Okay. What? Wait, wait, wait. That's his, like third shot with that yeah that's exactly it there you go six, six five, five, five. five five 
Oh, that was six dice he rolled. Nope, you gotta you gotta oh. uh, you gotta switch that down to five, Patrick. Okay, sorry. I oh. I no worries. What do I hit minus? Yeah, I already got it for you. So you can just hit the five. Alright. Yeah, until it goes down every round. Yep. Nothing there. I'll try. Alright. Down to four. Down to four. But let's see here. Yeah, those positionals are not gonna be able to see anybody. Uh, Jed, you've got your guard foot. Yep. Yep. Straight ahead. I would have thought so. Uh, that is heavy artillery. So six dice. Did that go up to six? I can't read it. Where are you? There, I got it for you. One hit. One hit. I'll do the horse artillery on the same target here. The guard horse. Well, now we got to check because you may have canister range here. Oh. And if you are, no, if you, are if you are not. You are not in canister range. If you are, okay. you must fire at the closest unit. Sure. So you are outside of canister range, which is six inches. That's so the you closest can, one anyway. You can fire at whoever you like. Yeah, I guess you're right. So this guard horse is uh, five dice, no bonus. But can you change it for me? I can't. Uh... I got gotcha. you. Okay. It still says six, I think. I'm on the left. Sorry, I'm, I'm working on yeah, the left. Yeah, sorry. Right. There you go. Okay, there we go. Nothing. Ah, nothing. Boom. And uh, last uh, horse artillery on the right. Yep. And they're going to be able to shoot at... So, yeah, not... it's going to be in this group. You want to shoot at uh, Volhuber? Yeah. All right. That is... Oh, yeah, they got to go away again. Five dice, no bonus. Nothing. Cannonballs flying over our heads. Yeah, I was going to say, Ooh, cannonballs just... whizzing everywhere, volley and thundering, all that other tennis and stuff. Any other musketry or cannon fire? I don't see any. But please correct me. No. That takes no. us to melees. That takes us to... Oh, there are some melees. Where do you want to go? I don't think we have any on the Let's left. start at the left and work nothing away. Left, nothing, nothing, nothing. Here we are. Oh, it's just me? Yes, yeah, just you. Okay. Where do you want to go? So, uh, does, does this, I want to go with the heavies here. Does that, uh, is that a one-on-one -on -one or do I do two-on-two? -two? Nope. This is, this guy is fighting this guy. This guy is fighting this guy. Okay. So okay, let's so do like... the, uh, the guard heavies Yep. first. That's nasty. Let's go through it this. It kind of doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what order, right? Nope. Really? It's up to, it, well, it just, you can always choose the most favorable, but you're right. It really doesn't matter because there's, there's no follow-up as far as that goes. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. um, Dep, Depradovich, he is an Alan seven. He's attacking, which takes him to eight, but he's got Bagration attached, which gives him a nine. He, uh, this that is being good. responded to by a six. Uh, he has Masena attached, who, oh, look at this. He is attached to a cavalry unit, so he was thinking ahead. So this is a 9 to a 7. Nasty. Okay. That's 4. Nice roll. So which one do you want to go to? Over here on the left? Yeah, I actually got it this time. You did it. I can awesome. see that's a nine there. So you got to beat four. Yeah, a nine. I can, a nine. I can see really clearly for some reason. All right. Well, all right. Hit. Good luck to you. Here him. we go. Oh! One, oh my God! One, one oh, wow. two, that's... three, four, five, six, seven to four. That's a difference of three. So what I must do is I must go here. And I must decrement him to three. I must decrement you by one. 
pretty big victory there. Now, before everybody moves, I must ask first you, Marshal Bagration, to check yourself. Roll 1d6, please. If you roll a 6, Bagration does not survive the battle. That's okay. He already did what he needed to do. <laughs> there you go. Am I at one there? You're at a yeah. one. Oh! No! <laughs> but Gratian is a casualty of the battle. Uh, do, are you at risk, Masena? You are. Yes. So, sorry, Mara. This is my guy. Is he at He's risk, fine. too? He's fine. So... Yeah. However, despite that fact, um, Dotpol must withdraw six inches facing the wrong way. And he goes, and the Senate goes with him. If you wish, Deprodovich, you may take the space. But there was uh, no... I just move into his space. Correct. Nah, no. All right. <laughs> Grenzer it doesn't give me any. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm thin. I can't. I, I'm used to playing black powder, so I'm thinking that you know, guys on the on the flank add. Yeah, there's no support. Stuff, there's, but... Yeah, there's not support yeah. that okay. way. Right, 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 right. Okay. Uh, all right. Which me, lady, want next? Uh, let's do the next one over to the left here. The uh, my lights against his uh, dragoons. That's not such a good one. But I think his dragoon took a hit or two, didn't they? They they did not. Not these. But oh, this is okay. still a seven to a six, and it's a straight up fight. No other modifiers. So I'm setting you up for a seven over here on the left. You're all set. Okay. Oh, two for Daniel. Two hits. And you hit him for three. Ooh, three for me. So he loses one. Let me fix that real quick. All right, Daniel. So if you would please face the wrong way and move six inches the other way. Now you are decremented to a six as well. But that is a win, no doubt about it. And the last one here. Yep. One last fight right here. Your light cab Wittgenstein is a six, but it's oversized, so that's a seven. And here we see Kellerman who is a six, so it's a seven to a six again. Same odds. Ooh, there's some better rolls. There's a three from Daniel. Oh! Oh, jeez. Five! Hey, really? Oh, so that's a two. It's this nice roller here. You know, let's hold on to this one, guys. We gotta keep this. <laughs> this is a winner. <laughs> that's a four, so he takes two. Now he's going to be in a bit of a spot because he's got to go straight back this way all the way through these fellers, Dope Poles guys. He's got to go this way. That's it. He's got to keep moving until he gets clear. And I'm marking Alon. And again, you can take space if you wish. No, I like where I am. All right. Well, I must say, the Russians had all the better of it on that particular fight. Well done. No other melees, correct? Not over yet. But... Oh, no. All right. You take the wins when you can get them. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'll take this them. Is, this is a lovely, lovely, lovely cavalry scrum. Just grabbed a photograph. All right. Yeah, that move of the cavalry up on the hill there was a surprise. That was a good move. This takes us to turn 12. Turn 12, please. Uh, 
And I would ask the allies to roll some mo dice for the French. Currently at 10.30 Central Time. Looks like it's all set. Napoleon, who gets your right. thing? Uh. Mm, thinking. Thinking will get you nowhere. Thanks. As one of the three stooges said, I'm trying to think, but nothing's happening. Yeah, right? <laughs> I may have to steal that. I've not heard that before. Heard that. All right. We'll go with the, the guard. All right. There we are. Velker, to my knowledge, did not leave his dice on the table, except um, it's weird, though, because he left some of them clearly for Jed over on the right, but he also left them, well, on the right, because he also left them over for Zeke on the right. <laughs> I do favor my right hand. Clear, yeah, he is. He, that's true. You do favor your right hand, don't you? All right, yeah, guard moves. That's for two. Daniel, you're up. Okay. He's not fooling around. I need to prepare marker for this uh, well, you third can't brigade. prepare on the turn you move, though. I think he means he wants to prepare this guy, um, I think, right? Yeah, I'm oh, preparing this guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, I'm sorry. Sure thing. Sorry. No worries. We'll go get you one. Uh, where am I? The uh, You're talking about EPA, uh, correct? EPA, yeah. Got it. I'm going to prepare Domon as well. Done. That's it. So two, three, four, five. Over to you, Robert. I will prepare the fourth here. The oh, gracious. First division fourth. Because <laughs> it looked like that guy over there might have ideas. All three of them, yeah? Yep. Okay, so that's two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Unless I miss my guess. What do you say, allies? Can the French go again? Eight? Yeah. Napoleon. All right, right here in the middle. Go. Done. 9, 10, 11. Over to you, Daniel. Okay, I'm going to move my calf.
<laughs> we are not afraid of you. You making contact there, Daniel? I am. All right. I wish they would have made these increments like five degrees instead of 15. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's I've actually put in a specific request to the developers to allow us a choice between 1, 5, and 10. That uh, I'm down there. Cool. So that came at us with 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 15, wheeling over here to the right flank. Okay. I'll try again. Let's see this last <laughs> guy there. To wake up three core. No, nope. oh, he just doesn't want to join. Davu, you better start yelling at him. Yeah. Somebody's going to get cashiered. But that does activate three corp. Yeah. I don't want to move the infantry. Let's see how far. So he's over six inches, so he can rally. Oh, let me get back along. Trying to do. Let me have a look. Yes, he can. That's, however, an individual activation, so you'd have to wait till you get to that. Okay. But yes, you can. Oh. Well, and that's it for me. All right, fifteen. Fifteen allies. Can the French continue? Yep. Good. Fifteen, Napoleon. Uh, one over here in the middle. Go ahead. Done. 16, 17, 18, 19. Daniel. Okay, moving this other cavalry. You can't do that because you can't see him at the start of your turn. You. You can stay outside of contact, but yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, Robert, you can go. Is that it? Okay. okay. So he's on individuals. No. So 1920, 21, over to Robert. Yeah, so I'll try that. Rally. All right, go for it. Mm -hmm. It's a 1d6. Need uh, anything but a 1 or a 2. Nice. Okay. You get back to 2. So that was uh, 20, 21, 22, 23. How about 23 allies? Can the French continue? That's it for them. That's it for them. All right, gunfire. Gun and cannons. What do you think? Anything? I imagine, I imagine Robert's got something down here. Yeah, I've got 22 infantry again. All right. Which one do you Let's see here. So, Lachey, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so on the volley range, yep. Leaders first. So that's uh, current is five, Tasha. So it is uh, three dice, no bonus. 
Which one? Or shooting with a at? Bonus, I'm sorry. With a bonus. He's firing at lighters. Nothing. Then you have to go to the closest one, or no? Yeah, you must go to the you must go to the nearest threat. And so yeah, so that was, yeah, this, so that guy. was this guy. Yep. All right. Yeah. He was going after yeah. the nearest one. And so in this case, ooh, it's, they're about the same. Oh. Nope, he's closer. Yes. Okay. So that's seven, eight, have four skirmishers, four with a bonus. I mean, we should use their die roller. I was going to say. <laughs> so we look around. Uh, I thought I saw some guns on the loose. Did I? Am I wrong? I have uh, this unit here that's going to fire at this cap. Sorry, which oh, no, that? he moved. Here? Be prepared. That's prepared considered, prepared a, considered move, a move. Nope, but it, now you no, can still preparing, you can still fire. You can still fire. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so uh, seven, you're outside of skirmish range, but you get all your dice. Seven dice, no bonus. Very nice. Ouch. There you go. Pew, pew 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 nice shot that was a nice shot and i'm gonna shoot my artillery at him as well same guy the black cap dig it uh i see six dice no bonus because you are heavy artillery nothing that time That's it for me. Any other shooting? Any other shooting? Nothing? How about some melees? Anybody got some? Is that a melee right here? It's a melee. Yes, that's a melee. Five to seven. So, Daniel, you're at five because you're undersized. And seven for the heavies. Ooh! Ooh, nice. Four hits. Very nice, Daniel. And Jed, you've got seven. Jeez. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> oh man, really? That's that. Well, oh. as as Doug Miller I can't. would say, never do any more than you absolutely have to. <laughs> yeah, I can't take any credit for that. Cost him two. He goes back six, faces the same way. However, that does cost you one. You stand in place. Any other melees? Is that it? Very good. Time check. We're doing well. Um, all right, let's advance the turn, please. Turn 13. French, please roll for the Austrians. Yeah, I'd roll it. It's the only thing I'm getting to roll, actually. <laughs> You're funny. And uh, that then leaves Zeke able to move. Please do so. Okay, I'll do these two brigades down here. All right. Bring him forward. I guess probably just till he bumps the woods here. Yep. Then... Forward as far as I can. Okay, two for me so far. That's it. Two over to you, Patrick. <laughs> I like a man who acts with decision. Let me, uh, do this real quick. Looks like that. Go ahead. Got to be straight. So when I hit him, you're going to wind up hitting him that. 
but okay. Probably the last turn. Let's just see what happens. It's all right. I don't blame you for that. Right. I mean, can I, can I have corrected it or no? Or, uh, well, I mean, you know, if you want to come back over here, I know you're easy within 12 inches. So, so you can charge right. either one, but the point is if you go straight at him, you're going to hit this guy before you hit this guy. That's all right. Let's just. So like that? Blood bath. Bonk. Yeah. All right. Then there's the Cossacks. God bless them. Well, here's where you got to be careful because you're going to hit. Yeah, I was going to say. I make on down. And you also got these dudes. If you want to uh, do anything with them. There's no such thing as support, right? So. Oh. Bonsai. The only issue is those guys don't have to re-roll their dice. The others do. Yeah, but... Right, let's out of the way. Go ahead and make contact. Yeah. Doesn't Cat have to re-roll their dice, though? Yep. He's hitting infantry in square. All right, that's what I thought. Yeah, it's just because it's the last turn. I don't want to see blood shed. I don't know. It's not going to uh, I, I respect <laughs> that. I respect that. So two came over, and this adds three, four, five, six, seven. Dead. Okay. Um, <coughs> I want to... Oops. Just goes to contact there. How does this work? This guy in contact, like so? Uh, no? Yeah. Yep, I'm fine with that. So, contact there. Wait a minute, he's moving to two different cores. Oh, you're right. You're right. Thank you. No, no problem. Okay, so... Yeah, that's those guys. All right. Uh, that's it, then. Oh, wait, I can... Mm, oh, I'll move the infantry. Okay. Too far away. Were they? Oh, the start of their yep. move? Yeah, they were probably just started in it. So then just these two? Yep. So two to two. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. French, nine. Can the allies keep going? Yes. Can the allies keep going? They can. Zeke, you're up. Okay. Um, I'll do this cavalry brigade and the Grenzers. So I'll remove his uh, prepared marker. Uh, I guess I'll start with the cavalry. Okay. It's going to be through difficult. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it for those yeah. two. Two over here in the middle. Patrick. Uh see anything to get in the top so uh I'll defer to the Russians. All right. She's gonna do All right, so now I'll do the so I got these three. 
that are guard. in yep. in in uh, coherence or whatever you call it. This guy's too far away, I think, right? Uh, From him. Yep. Yep. So these guys will just do their. Oops. Yeah, that's where they're going to get. So. And Did you shoot. intend to have them make contact? Yeah. Are they not? They were not. There you go. Okay. Um, you have to be activated to shoot? Nope. No? No. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, that's all I can do. That's the only... Uh, 12, 13. 13. 13. French, what say you? Ah, uh, yeah. Zeke? Oh, nice. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, hold on. I think... No, no, that's it. You and your math. Oh. We got 13 exactly. Okay. okay. All right, so there's a lot on this turn. Holy cow. Um, guns first, though. Let's start over here on the left. Zeke? Okay. Um, I'll do the second brigade here. So, geez, six. Well, actually, are you in volley range? Or are you in? You are not in volley. I think range, I'm still right? out. So that's uh, six three, three no bonus. Nothing. Okay, nothing. Uh, same thing for the next brigade. Uh, and that comes out exactly the same way. Three no bonus. Nothing. Wow, two shots with no hits. I know, right? Suddenly, the guns of the French fall si or the Austrians, or the Russians down there fall silent. <laughs> now, there's something wrong with that dice roller now. Right. <laughs> um, does this is this battery able to shoot with the cavalry nope. butted up against the infantry? No. no. Okay. All right, that's it for all my shooting then. Any other shooting, please? I think you yeah. might have some, Patrick. Yeah. The, this guy didn't yeah. activate. But he can still shoot. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. So, so this prepared unit here. All right. We're gonna start. I'm gonna start. Go to the I'm gonna start. Go to the oh, I'm sorry. I skipped over those guys. Yeah. Okay. So, These guys have never fired, so let's pound the town. Unfortunately, they can't mm. see because they're not at the edge of the hill. Oh, okay. So uh, all you've got is your horse artillery. All right. Uh. They can't see the town, I don't think, right? I mean, they can't shoot at the uh, town. They, can, they could shoot at the town if they wanted Oh, yeah. To. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You got it. Yep. Okay. Okay, so. Uh... Oh, no. They haven't garrisoned it. Never mind. They can't see them because of this. Oh. Okay. So, does he have another target? Or... Oh, yeah. He can shoot here. He could shoot here. He could shoot here. All right. Let's... This guy, Patchton, or whatever. Which guy, I'm sorry? Who you want? Oh, Pack Todd? Got it? Yeah. Uh, you so are firing four dice, no bonus. All right, where's a. I go over. How do I. Uh... Uh... I can't. Oh, it's okay. Where you at? There you go. There you go. Four, four dice. Four. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing there. All right. Now, Jed, you got some shooting. Yep. Uh, my guard foot will shoot at this prepared unit here, FBA or whoever it is. And I believe because he is prepared, you are conferred a bonus. I would think. I can never. Yeah, it's a bonus. Remember. I can never remember if it's a bonus or a die. It is a bonus. Very good. Bonus. Very good. So guard foot, uh, currently with five dice, but it's six. Six with a bonus. So six. Six, please. Two hits. One hit. Oh, two, two hits. Oh that, wait. Because that five hits. Right. 
Very nice. But the play. four doesn't hit? The four does not. It's usually only sixes. If you have a bonus, the first five counts. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was melee four touches. Correct. Okay. Then the horse artillery, uh, the guard horse artillery on the same target. Yep. So it's five dice with a bonus. One hit. And uh, the horse artillery over here on. Oh, I keep. I always forget that. Ball Hubert. Volibert. And that is five dice, no bonus. Ooh. Ouch. Do I see that as two hits? Three yes. dice. Is it? Five and two sixes. Uh, two sixes, so that's two hits. No bonus. How about the five? No oh, bonus. no bonus, right. Okay, okay, two hits. All right. All right, well, there's a bunch of melee, so let's start over here on the left. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Holy cow, there's some melees. This dude right here, if it's okay with you. There's one over here in the in the, uh, in the the aviary or whatever that nope, thing is. There, he did right? not make contact. Oh, no, I didn't get in there. He oh, you didn't not make contact. The pheasantry. Okay. The pheasantry, yeah. So this is a prepared fight. We've got these Ulans with an, a morale of six. And then we've got them with six. Oh, but they're steady. So that gives them a seven. But because they are prepared, our friends, the Ulans, must reroll all hits. So Patrick, this is six mm -hmm. to seven for Robert. Okay. So Robert, you're, you're going to roll seven. Four. Patrick. Okay. Set five or six? Six. Seven. Six. Seven. One more. Hit the plus. Yeah, I gave it to you. Six. You're all good. Okay. Two, three. But you, so you can't beat them, so you're going to lose. Current alone is five. If the reroll does now? No, because oh. you can only you, when you lose, you only lose two. Okay. So now he must go back six inches. I'll just move him back that way. Keep it moving. It's six inches straight back, facing the same way. So he bounces him. How about here? This is six dice straight up. How about here? Six dice. So it's six to six, but again. The um, Hussars must reroll hits. Six to six, please. Okay. Ooh. Four to four. So, you, unfortunately, you must roll all four again. So, I've given you uh, four, right. Patrick. Okay. And that is a loss. Yeah. So, you two are going to bounce. Let's do this here. You're going to go straight back to where your buddy is. And he is going to go to a current Alon. Five. Some more to happen. Here they come. These are the ones that could get ugly. A lot of six. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't realize who you'd hit. Interesting. All right. These guys, because they're steady, that's an eight. So this is six to eight, but the French must re-roll all hits. I think that's mm. you, Ron, right? Four, yes, four. sir. Four, four. So it's six to okay. eight. And got you set up. Patrick. Okay. Oh, Ooh. holy cow. Wait one. Okay, Patrick. So he hits oh. four, two. Now, now, Ron, you can lose. But this, the you know. French have to re-roll. Yeah, right? he's got to re-roll yes. everything. Correct. Oh, you almost made a game of it. 
but that is a French law. That is a French win. I was going to say, yeah, that was a French win. <laughs> we no need to prepare. Mm-hmm. Not when you start out steady like that. Yeah, but that guy's nasty. That that was kind of a shock, to tell you the truth. Yeah, what is? What are those guys? They're just the regular uh, brigade. No, that's no regular mm-hmm. brigade. That's four corps. So this is this is Saint Hilaire. Oh. Saint Hilaire, one of the better corps. I mean, it ain't three corps. Experienced corps. Yeah, three. Right. No, this, this one. one here. This, like this is eight. Eight dice, dice versus to my six. six. Dice. Eight to six, and you reroll. This is where I'll get hurt. This could be the big win here. You got eight over there, Patrick. Okay. I got four. And he hit you Ooh, for beat him. one, two, three, four, five. five. So you got to reroll all four, Ron. Oh, my two three. Five to three, you lose by two. Now, here's one of the interesting things about Blucher. Even though it is evident that this has been a defeat for the attacking or for the defending French. I said that bounce. Exactly. The, uh, and even though the cuirassier only take a single hit, it is they that bounce. Why is that? It's the, the argument is, is that unless you destroy the infantry, cavalry just doesn't work that way. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I actually love the rule. So it's six yep. inches straight back. It's one of my favorite rules in Blucher. All right. So that's all that. There are more melees. I know there are. Oh, uh, this guy didn't make it. I'm sorry. Yeah, that guy did not. Was it your intent for him to make the, the for the Cossacks to make? Yeah. Contact? Okay. Yeah. If you do, if you do. You're fighting both guys. Uh, and they only are four, right? They're alone of four? Correct. Yeah. No. It's the last turn. What the hell? Come on, bring him in. All right. Yeah. Custer! Well, your call. Custer's last stand. I, I don't disrespect you for this. The, um, <laughs> and the other thing is he can only lose two. That's the crazy part. All right, so yeah. what we do here is we say seven, and we say I have 13. Say six. So it's 13 to four. Oh. Oh, 13 to four, but it can happen. 13 reroll all hits. Yeah, it can happen. One, two, three, four, Not... five, six, seven, eight. Get you down to four, Patrick. You're all good. Three. So you got to re-roll eight, Ron. Oh! Tie! <laughs> Unbelievable. That's, that still, still wins. gets bumped, though. That's within an inch of losing. But, so these fellas do lose one. That was the charge of the light brigade. That was that was kind of nuts. Actually, turned out better than the charge of the light. Yeah, brigade. I was I was gonna say. Uh, yeah. And it is again six inches straight back. Yeah, that's why I assumed you didn't want any part of that because you would have wound up hitting both. But all good by me. Uh, I am all about hopeless bravado. <laughs> all right. How about some melees over here? It looks like you had some, Jed. Yep. Yep, yep. Let's do this one first. All right. The guard. Um, so you got... Was it your intent for these guards to hit them too? Yes. All right, bonk. So that's I double. thought they were there. So this that's going to hurt. This, yeah, it is. So that's seven plus four... 11 dice to three. 
Oh dear. 11 to 3. Five hits. One. Four is the difference. That is a kill. Oh. That is a kill that decrements the the French morale by a further one. They could advance if they wished. Either unit. Nope. All right. No, thank you. <laughs> Another melee here? Yes. Pull that back just a little bit. Another doubler. Right. Both units. That's a six. Plus a seven. Thirteen. Thirteen to seven. Holy cow. <laughs> One, two, three. To a whole lot. Okay, so that's a kill again. Unless I'm wrong. I gotta be careful. So that's one, two, three, four, five, Count six, em. seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven to three. That's eight. That's a kill. That's not Ron, you got Nansu T's division killed. How did I get them killed? I'm reporting you. <laughs> no. All right, so they are killed. That's another decrement. Um, wow, crazy stuff. All right, I think that's it, right? All right, let's yeah, sign off. Let's wrap up big. We got. I want to give the French the bottom half of the turn. Just because that takes us to 14, it means we got halfway, which is kind of nice. So if the allies could please give the French some mo dice. Okay. Napoleon. Who are you giving it to? Let's go with the Cav. Cavalry Reserve. Cavalry Reserve. Cav. You got Napoleon's thing. Do it. Okay. There's no clowning there. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> That's it. Two. So actually, that leaves us over on your side. Daniel. What's that? You, that was Napoleon on his activation. Oh, it leaves me on my side? Yep. Um, I'm going to move this brigade over some.
All right, that's it. So it's two, three, four, five. Robert. Okay. Yeah. Give this guy one last try to one last get shot. on. Go for it. <laughs> there it is. Yay. Yay. So he will. How far over can he come on to the? Well, as I say, he's to supposed board? to be here. He's supposed to be right behind the town. So if he were here or here, I'm not objecting. Okay. And we'll go over here. Um, you could spin him first and then just bring him that way and just keep yeah, him facing. Yeah, if you turn him and face him, you can move 12 inches. Yeah, Perfect. I'll do that. Get away from those naughty, naughty for Austrians. Mm -hmm. Grenzers. <laughs> and she will and we charge. Sure. Why not? That's it for me. All right, so that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by my count. Seven. I'm pretty sure the French can go. Allies? Yep. Napoleon. All right, middle here. Done. Eight nine. Daniel. Uh I'll just rally with one of my not that it matters. I don't have any other moves. I guess I no, I can't. He's still this guard or, or this artillery has a shot at this heavy cavalry, right? He's got a forty five. Yep. I would think. Yep. Feels real good. Then I my only other move is to rally them. Uh, the mall. Um, I think on. he's going to be too close to the enemy. Yep. Oh, yep. He is too close. Then nothing. All right. Pass. So that was 9, 10, 11. 11, over to you, Robert. Oh, I will. To meet the dragoons here. And yeah, we'll charge there. Look at that. How about 13 allies? Can the French keep going? No, uh, yeah, that's it for them. That's it. Oh, that's wow, it. Whew, that's a bad roll for you guys. Yep. Sure enough. Whoa! Yeah, that was bad. Oof. All right, how about some shooting? Let's start over here on the right. Robert, I think you got some shooting you'd like to do. Yep. So, same thing. Both shooting at Yeah, I think you're shooting leaders. at the same guy because nobody's moved. Yep. Uh, so, therefore, pew, 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 we say you have a current on a five, six, three dice with a bonus. Okay.
There's a hit. Same fellers. Uh, that'd be eight. Right. Oh, wow. They've never been hit. Wow. So that's no. uh, four with a bonus. Material of the course. Nothing. Bit of a disappointment. Looking along here. Uh, looks like you've got some shots you might like to take here. Yep. I'll start here, maybe. Let's say your yeah. closest is these lads. Oh, nope, they're out of range. Wow, that's surprising. Well, they should be in range because yeah, they, they be attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they should be. They yeah, should be. yes, they should be. All right, we're going to. It doesn't matter. They're in range. So uh, your shooting says uh, five halved. So three, three with a bonus. There's a hit. Yep, we'll run straight ahead. And that's uh, another, mm -hmm. oh, that's a six mm -hmm. with the artillery. So that's a three, uh, three with a bonus. Another hit. Over here. Mm -hmm. That's four with a bonus. Are they in range? I think he's out of range, though. And it's over here to the corner, though. you got to make sure it's fair, because there's got to be six inches between the two is. Yep, they're out of range. All right. Well, these fellers certainly aren't. Uh, so that's seven, four. That's four with a bonus. They can melee, but they can't shoot. I tell you what. I'm glad I remembered. They don't get that bonus against horse, so it hasn't mattered. Oh, okay. Well, that should be. Yeah, he should be closer than that. That's my bad. Yeah, they gotta be within six inches. Yeah, they, they gotta be six. There it is. So, uh, ba, 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 four, five, three with three no bonus. Oh, oh, two hits. Suddenly, the pew, suddenly the pew pew comes out. They they heard you taunting them. Yep. Be raiding them. Yeah, I guess. So I don't know who's closer here. Well, these guys are in melee with these guys. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So I would say that let's call this uh, three, three no bonus right there. At them Cossacks. Nothing. These lads. Six. Three. Three no bonus on the Cossacks. No. Ah. No good shooting there. That's everybody nope. there. That gun is going to be masked, I think. You can shoot over there if you want, Daniel. Okay. Is that four? I don't know why you wouldn't. Uh, five dice, no bonus. There's a hit. Um, one hit. Got it. Uh, did the, these lads all moved, I believe, right? right. Correct. Yeah, they moved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That takes us to our melees. Where do we want to start? Doesn't this prepared guy have a shot? Which one? I'm sorry. Oh, no, that's right. Range. 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 So who's up? Where do you want to go? I'll start with the cab over I here do mine. on the left. It's cab on the left. All that's right. Over here. So what do we got? We got a we got a melange. Do you want to do this single one first, Daniel? Sure. All right, I show that as a four versus a six. Four to six. 
one. And uh, I think that's... Am I at six there? Yeah. Yep. You're a six, Jeff. Yes. You're a six, Jeff. Wow. <laughs> I don't think my dad can get any worse tonight. <laughs> no, it's not been yours. No, it's, not been yours. it's not been yours. Mine it's can't get bad. any better. <laughs> Trust right. me, I, ha I have those right. nights all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He does. I've been here to see them. So he's going to have to go all the way back here because six inches ain't going to get it done. Okay. Now this is a little better. And ooh, there's Marshall Massena getting nuts. I love it. All right, so, uh, ooh, four, 10, 11, 11 to four. Yeah. Jeez. To win by two. One's down to two. So these fellas have to go back straight this way six inches. And both these fellas take one. Any other melees? And a roll from Masena. Oh, yes, thank you. No sixes. Don't kill my guy. He's yeah, nice. My... Okay. Yeah, then I have them a melee here. You got a melee. Look at this. You do. Uh, boy. Ooh. Um, a little rugged here. Uh, this is a six with a seven for shock, but undersized. So six again. Six and. 13 versus 13 to 5. Ouch. That's a lot of dice there, Robert. That's two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a kill. That's a nice batter. That's a nice bunch of guys you just killed, Robert. Nice bunch of cats. Yeah, they were annoying me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, is that all the melees? Did I get them? I think I did. Looks like it. it. Is. All right. Well, as much as I regret it, that is time, gentlemen. So, obviously, too soon to determine who won, who lost. Um, I will certainly say that the Allies did an excellent job of pressing their advantages down here in the South. Um, but, you know, who knows? This firefight around, around Sokolnitz was, uh, was interesting. It was turning out to be quite the thing. Um, here in the center, I loved the, I loved the aggressive cavalry attacks. I really do. And it did nick up the infantry, but the French have some really good infantry coming up to the Pratzen. Up here, uh, you tell me. I don't know as I could, you know. Obviously, the Russians were doing a great job coming in, uh, but the French were not about to go out without a counterpunch. So for those who have never played yeah. Blucher before, I hope it gave you a sense of what it's like, and I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, I Thanks. enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, yeah I did too. And um, okay. I hope that uh, this was an experience of Tabletop Simulator. You can either you understand its strengths and its limitations. And um, this is what we do. This is Saturday Night Fights. And to, to all of you who have never been here before, armchairdragoons.com, uh, this is what we do on Saturday nights. And please know that even though Cyber Wars is just one weekend, we play this pretty much every Saturday. We oh, play okay. different games and a whole lot of Napoleonics. So, uh, yeah, so... That's uh yeah, I'll check it out. I like the I'll, I'll check out some of those YouTube videos and see what you It was nice doing. playing with you guys. Right? Yeah, it was yeah, a lot it was of great. Fun. Thanks so much yeah. for running the game. It was really great. Really yeah, great game, guys. Certainly hope you yep. enjoyed thank it. You. And to uh, all those who are watching on the live stream, I really want to thank you very much for coming by. 
And please know that at noon tomorrow, Central Daylight, we'll be doing the epic Battle of Eggmool using Commands and Colors Napoleonics. So uh, please come by and uh, have a look at that. Thanks, Haz. Thanks, everybody who watched. And definitely thanks all to the players. Please take care of yourself.